Baba katika jina la Kristo Yesu tuko mbele zako asubuhi hii. Tunakushukuru sana kwa sababu ya wema na uaminifu wako. Asante Mungu wetu ni kwa sababu ya neema juu ya maisha ya kila moja wetu na kutusaidia tuweze kukuja mfalme wa ajabu na kukamilisha safari ya moja wetu. Tunatikabili mikononi mwako Bwana tunapoanza kutazama mwili huu. Ninaomba ya kwamba mfalme wa ajabu utaweza kutuliza watu wengi katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Wale wote ambao Bwana mioyo yao ni mizito ninaomba ya kwamba Bwana utawagusa utaweza kufariti kila moja wetu katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Asante maana wewe ni mwema na wewe ni Mungu pamoja nasi. Hata tukapokuwa tunaondoka na kwenda makaburini, Bwana safari hiyo ni mikononi mwako. Neema yako iwe juu ya maisha yetu Mungu wetu. Na ni katika jina la Kristo Yesu tumeomba na kuamini. Yo, tutafuta hivi. Pole pole, pole pole, tukija hivi, alafu narudi kwa gari yako. Yo. Alafu gari sikitoka tuwejeane pale, yes. Alafu ni pamoja. Takutumaini sina.
Don't pull out, don't pull out myself there. I'm going to go down 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 there.
Hizi viti zizikariwe na zire zibaki hivyo. Kwa hivyo kija, atafute kiti huko nyuma ama nena shiringi kumi uchukue kiti, atafute mwari ya uka. Hizi viti 
ziwe preserved na hizi ziwe preserved tunakoja wanafunzi ndio maana hatuanzi kwa sababu wanafunzi ni wa muhimu sana wamekuwa pamoja na yeye shuleni kwa miaka kama tano na kwa hivyo tunataka kuwapatia heshima hizo kwa hivyo tunagoja wanafunzi wafike ndio tuanze
kuwaambia ni vizuri kuwajulisha kwamba ukitaka washroom ziko pale shilingi kumi yako itakusaidia sana kama huna kiti kuna viti ya shilingi kumi pale usisumame jambo la pili tuko life ukienda kwa youtube tafuta smart eye film production smart eye film production youtube iko life
한 빈군이 너의 파산이 슈크를 
Ndiyo hamcha Na ameza kusimama pamoja na sisi sana Tangu tuwaza maumbrezo haya Na kwa hivyo tunamba watoto warakisha sana Students warakisha warakisha Kuna hema enyo ambao tumewekea hapa. Students warakisha nyindo umetucharasha kiasi kwa hivyo harakesheni. Wanafunzi vitizamberezu wachua warimu pamoja. Kama kuna muhubiri ya kwa ponyuma tafadhali, jo hapa. Kama ene muzee wa kanisa uko hapa, jo hapa. Muhubiri, hapa. Kuna muhubiri hapa? Ok, kama kuna muhubiri hapa nyuma, tafadhali ya kuja ni mpatia mahali ya kuketi. Kama kuna muhubiri hapo, kuna mzewa kanisa hapo, tafadhali njoo. 
kama kuna mhubiri hapo nyuma kuna mzao wa kanisa ambao anataka kupata kiti ndio tunataka kwenda haraka kiasi kwa sababu sasa tumechorodi saa moja nataka kumwalika Reverend Steven Kenyanjui aweze kutuombea maombi ya kufungua ndio tusimame zote tunapoombewa microphone kijana mmoja kae hapa apatiana microphone tuwe na kijana mmoja hapa wagacha apatiana microphone hapa ndio karibu tungaje tunataka kuombewa maombi ya kuanza ya kufungua ibada yetu na tuombe baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo tuko mbele zako kutimiza kile ambacho bwana uliweka kutoka mwanzo kwamba mtu akishaishi maisha yake na akishafika ukingoni lazima arudi kwa mavumbini tumekuja kukuomba utupe neema na nguvu na uweza tuweze kustahimili jambo hili na nguvu zako zituwezeshe kutimiza kile ambacho bwana tuastahili kufanya tunaomba amani tunaomba utulivu tunaomba kuelewa tunaomba nguvu zako zituwezeshe na ni kwa jina la Yesu tumeomba na kuamini amen tuketi nataka kumwalika Reverend Zack Mwangi kwa niaba ya familia aweza kutukaribisha kikao hiki Bwana asifiwe Ah jameni bwana asifiwe pande hii Toeni amen bwana asifiwe Amen ni kusema na iwe hivyo bwana asifiwe pande hii Bwana asifiwe pande ile ya kule Adwa gaito mwa mwana olea Mutigekea guanyane Amen bwana asifiwe pande hii Amen kwa niaba ya jamii ya Kiarie tunataka kuwakaribisha wote asanteni kwa sababu ya kufika hapa ili kuomboleza na kulia pamoja nasi Mungu awabariki na mujisikie mukiwa mahali panapofaa salamia jirani yako mwambie thank you for coming tafadhali maybe aja salamia tangwa mwoga idhia ga idhio shioge ukae ujue mnakaa na nani tafadhali yes Salamia na na huyo. Amen. Bwana awabariki. Karibu master of ceremony endelea. Ndio mpigie Zaki makofi. Ndio tunataka kurete sasa jeneza kwenye hiyo stand. Tuamuke kwa sababu ya heshima ya marehemu na praise and worship uende pale waungane hawa vijana. Ndio. Sasa mnaweza kuleta Tunasherekea ushindi wa Bwana zina la Yesu ni ngome imara Tunasherekea ushindi wa Bwana zina la Yesu ni ngome imara Tunasherekea ushindi wa Bwana zina la Yesu ni ngome imara Tunasherekea ushindi wa Bwana Oh, my God. 
Mbato vita fadhali. Bado mimi naona hamukuimba, hamukucheza kwa sababu ulikuwa ukaribisha mwi. Sasa ujitayarisha kwamba utakuwa na mahali pa kuimbia Mungu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Mimi naitwa MCA Steven Mwenena wa Itito. Mimi ndio MCA wa leo. Nipia makofi. Na nikiwa msia wa leo, bwana asifiwe sana. Na lakini si ile member of account assembly, mimi ni master of ceremony available. What's up? Sina msia member of account assembly. Mimi ni master of ceremony available. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kwa hivyo nipigie makofi. Kwa hivyo mimi ndio sasa kusema leo, si ndio? Ndio nikisema muka unaamka. Nikisema keti una keti. Kwa sababu umekuja na nimepatiwa kibali hii na Mungu pamoja na familia, pamoja na fa, na committee na dini ya Worldwide Gospel Church of Kenya, ni lazima unitoe. Ni lazima? Yo, bwana asifiwe sana. Na kwa sababu hiyo nataka kuja sasa kwa introduction. Introduction. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na nikikupatia nafasi mimi napenda kuwa street kidogo kama Yesu Kristo. Sawa? Na kwamba nikikwambia ni salamu wacha iwe salamu. Nikisema ni jina wacha ni jina. Eh jina yangu ni Steven Munene wa Itito unawachia hapo. Sawa? Salamu ni kusema Steven Munene wa Itito hapo jambo unaachia hapo. Si ndio? Kwa sababu leo tunamhubiri atakayehubiri. Tuna mtu atakayesoma theology. Si ndio? Bwana asifiwe sana. Kwa hivyo sasa nitataka wale wanataka kufanya introduction wa nita fanya introduction wapi hiyo nini Yo. na sitaongoza vile mnaongoza kwa kwenyu si ndio tutaongoza vile mimi nata yes bwana asifiwe sana unajua kwenyu mnazoea kusoma theology mkimalizia mimi na anzanga na hii ili ujue ni nani tumekuifa nini ili ukumbushwe ni nani na kwa hivyo nataka kumuita Yunis unafikiri ni Yunis Yes, wewe ni wanjira akuja tusome na kwenye mnazoea kutoa yoroji nyingi kama mia tano. Sisi tuna yoroji mbili. Sawa? Moja ni yangu, moja takeso. Kwa hivyo usikiza kwa maki. Eh hiyo ma sisi tunasomanga moja. Na inatosha. Mpigie makofi anapokuja. Mpotee microphone. Sisi yetu ni moja, kwa hivyo sikiza kwa makini. Kwa sababu hatuna nyingine. Theology, Esther Wamboi, Conticala. But the late Esther. Tuwe na mtu ataka suba karibu na yeto fadhari. Ndiyo hiyo mekuja. Kama kuna mungine pia, aneza sumama tu katika ti. Aya, but the late Esther Wamboi, the late Esther Wamboi Kuntinkala was born on 27th July 2006 in Dimunakuru County. She was the third born daughter to the late Wilson, Wilson Kuntinkala and Elizabeth Njeri. She was a sister to Ruth Wangari, U.S. Georgia, and Nancy Serementi, NHIF Nakuru. She was an aunt to Brianna, U.S. Georgia. Education. She started her education in 2009 in Elite Nursery School and later joined Elite Primary, Nemo Primary, and later Cheerful Academy, where she did her KCAP e exam. In 2020, she joined Akuru Day Secondary School up to 2023. Church. Esther was it? Esther was an active youth in Worldwide Gospel Church of Kenya, Bethlehem Local Church, Harry. Illness. The late Esther started ailing in August and was treated in Optimum Hospital and Annex Hospital, respectively. While in Annex, 
on 16th October at 1 a.m. Esther was promoted to glory. Rest in peace, beloved daughter, sister, cousin, niece, granddaughter, friend, and classmate. Her favorite verse was Exodus 14, 13, 14. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians who ye have seen today, ye shall have seen them again no more forever. 14. The Lord shall fight for you, and he shall hold you peace. Rest in peace. And they are picking my coffee. Sasa hiyo ndio tumekuja kusindikisha mwili wake siku ya leo. Na kwa hivyo huyo ndiye. Najua umekuja kwa sababu unamjua. Na Mungu akubariki sana. Nataka kufanya introduction ile toe mama yake ili muweze kumjua. Na hatuna picha. Hatuna video na kitu kwa live. Smart Eye Film Production. Kenda kwa YouTube. Sasa mama wa Evu tu hivi ndio waevu huyo ndio mama wa Esther Wamboi Kuntikara. Mpigia makofi. Kuna dada yake anaitwa Nancy na huyo mwingine anaitwa Ruth anaishi Amerika na kwa hivyo huyo dada yake anayefuatwa na Esther fanya tu hivi. Mpigia makofi. Ali America Ruth mpigie makofi anaona kuwa America Sasa nataka kuwaita kama kuna grad parents wa Esther kama babu nyanya yuko hapa babu kama ulikuwa naitwa babu ama nyanya na Esther marehemu kuna babu ndio jo hapa jo hapa ama ndio wataanza kufika ama wafanyie hapo Upatia nafasi Babu, 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 babu. Dio, uyo na ni show show, pigie makofi. Dio, tunafanya hivi kwa sababu watuna picha. Kama ulikuwa na hito wa anko, mjomba, pandizote, mtuota na jisikia ni mjomba, kwa njia moja ama nyingine. Hata kama wane mjomba wa kikristo, muna mga na hawa. Wajomba ya kuzariwa kwa damu, wajomba wa kristo, wajomba na hawa. Wajomba ni wengi, sinio? Haya. Waevu watu, just wave the people. Wapigia makofi tafadhali, wapigia makofi. Arafu, kutoka hapo tunenda cousins. Cousins wote, wakujo wa sumame hapo. Cousins, cousins wote. Cousins zote, upande zote. Arafu, Haron, Mbogua. utaongea kwa niaba hawa na changanya mambo mawili Kansis 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 soma meni pande hii Kansis wote Kansis wote na mbogu wa mbogu apatue microphone atatusalamia na ongea kwa niaba ya Kansis ninachanganya mambo kwa sababu tulicherewa kiasi Mbogu ni nani Mbogwa. Mbogwa, mbogwa, mbogwa. Haro ni mbogwa? Songeni tuwevi, tafadhali. Haro ni mbogwa? Ndiyo, kama hakuna mwaja enyo chukue, aonge kwa niyaba ya cousins. Chukua microphone. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe tena. I'm going to read a tribute on behalf of my fellow cousins to Esther. In loving memory of our dearest cousin, Esther, our heart aches with pain we can hardly put into words. At times, it's as if our emotions are in turmoil and we are left confused and heartbroken. Hey there, mommy. It's so hard to express the depth of our grief. 
Esther, you are not just family. You are a beacon of hope and strength. You faced adversity with such courage and grace that it left us in awe. Your unwavering strength, even in the face of hardship, was a testament of your incredible character. Your presence was a calming force in our lives, radiating peace and tranquility wherever you went. You were, you were the embodiment of joy, always bubbling with energy and enthusiasm. Your vibrant personality had a magical way of lighting our lives, and the memories of your infectious laughter and excitement will forever be etched in our hearts. But it is those mo moments we share that we'll miss the most. The heartfelt laughter, the inside jokes, the sunny days by the pool, and the dance moves that you loved so much. It's so hard to, to accept that we won't create more memories of these cherished memories together. Esther, this journey without you is unimaginably tough. You are a warrior, and your determination was an inspiration to us all. We never thought that we'd face a moment like this. We would no longer be with us. The world feels a little dimmer without your radiating smile and boneless energy. Rest in peace, Esther. Your memory will forever be a beacon of strength and enduring source of love in our lives. We will miss you immensely. Thank you. You are here, my coffee? Okay, Auntie Water, Pandizote, Auntie, Auntie, I'm a matata. I am a matata, Nesta. I am tata. Kama wewe ni tata kwa njia moja ama ile nyingine ndio tata we just wave this side wave this side wave this side okay jioni 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 okay tukae vizuri sasa tukae hivi vizuri najua tata ni watu wa maana sana haya wave this side ah pindukeni pande hii ah pindukeni pande hii hasa tuwapigie makofi Cousins wa Elizabeth Njeri. Cousins wote wa Elizabeth Njeri. Cousins, cousins wa Elizabeth Njeri. Cousins wa mama wa Esther. Cousins mkuja hapa. Rafu Haron Mbogua apuchukue microphone. Wata tusaremia. Cousins wa Elizabeth Njeri. Uh, mkae pale muangalia pale mtaonekana vizuri alafu patia patia na microphone hapa Tuko na kijana mmoja pale wa microphone ama oh huko sawa patia haro ni mbogo wa microphone God is good and all the time uh, mchungaji wetu uh, our cousin mama Ruth Kerry's family the Bugwas family na kanisa kwa jumla na waombolezaji wenzangu hamjambo sisi ambao tumesimama hapa tumekuja kuwakilisha jamii ya mzee Mbugwa ambayo inaitwa the Mbugwas family na tunaleta rambi rambi zetu kwanza naleta zangu na jamii yangu naleta yangu na jamii yetu hapa ya bwana mbugwa kukuja kusindikisha dada yetu mtoto wetu Esther kikundi ambacho kiko hapa si chote wengi pengine wamekaa huko nyuma lakini kwa jamii ya mzee mbugwa ambaye ni grandfather wake mama Esther tuko na watoto saba na kati yao watoto wa saba sasa hapo ndio makazi nzo wanapatikana na huwa tunakutana tukatengeneza kikundi kya kuwa tukinakutana ambacho kinaitwa the Mbugwa family katika hicho kikundi jamii ya mama Esther ambao ni wa kazi anakuwa ameongoza familia yao kukuja kuwa na celebration ambayo huwa tunakufanya mara mbili kwa mwaka 
Esther alijoin our group wakati tulianza tulianza 2008 na ukiangalia utaona Esther alikuwa only 2 years from 2008 tumekuwa tukikutana mara mbili kwa mwaka tunafurahia kuwa tu sisi ni watoto wa jamii moja na wakati tunapata janga kama hili tunakuja tunalia pamoja tunashikilia mmoja wetu na ndio unaona tumekuja kwa wingi kuna wengi wengine wako mpaka nje ya nchi kule Marekani wametuma rambi rambi zao na tunashukuru Mungu sana kwa maisha ya Esther huyu Esther ambaye amelala hapa amekuwa wa furaha kubwa sana kwa jamii yetu tumekuwa na hiyo mikutano kama tukikumbuka mara ya mwisho tulipokuwa na Esther kama this year this year alone tumekuwa na Esther mara tatu kwa mikutano tulienda na yeye njoro januari na tuko na video zake vile alikuwa na dance amefurahia amechangamka tukaenda na yeye April hapa na Kuru Shabab kwa uncle amechangamka mwezi wa nane tulikuwa na yeye na Robi amechangamka kwa hivyo sisi tunasikia kabisa kabisa kama kikundi hiki tumepotolewa na mmoja wetu ile changamoto tungetaka kuweka kwa wewe ambayo ni wa mbugu wa family join us hapo penye Esther alikuwa ameshikilia tunakuhitaji uje usaidie ushikilie jamii ya mbugwa ili tuweze kuenda mbele pamoja na nikimalizia ningewataka kuacha na neno moja ambalo liko katika kitabu cha Joshua Joshua first verse nine ambalo linasema nikiongea kwa mama Ruth jipe moyo be strong be courageous don't be afraid and don't be discouraged for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go Mungu awabariki na watende mema na Mungu alaze mtoto wetu Esther wa Mboi mahali mepema tunatumaini baada ya uhai huu tutajumuika na yeye nikutangulia tu ametangulia sote tuko safarini Mungu awabariki sana Ndio wapajie makofi mazuri makofi mazuri sasa tunataka kutambua familia na Crude Second School Mmoja hapa Wapatia uh-huh. microphone Hawa na waachia free mood na wapatia free mood Ha eh? naweka free kidogo Microphone microphone tafadhali Hawa ni watu wa heshima sana wapatia free mood kiasi Praise God. Praise God again. My name is Anne Nyambura. Na mimi ndiye nilikuwa class teacher wa Esther Kutikala kutoka 2020 paka 2023. Nimekuja pia na walimu wenzangu ambao pia wataji introduce. We'll try as much as possible to take the shortest time possible. Bwana sifiwe. Hallelujah. Jina ni Mrs. Kirago. God is good all the time jina langu ni patrick rito praise god madam grace nilikuwa teacher wa esther wa hesabu tumsifi yesu kristo jina ni habat nderito naibu wa mwalimu mko thank you so we have a tribute for esther from the class teacher and again from the student let me start with the class teacher's tribute so that i i pay it for my students sinisawa vivian yes esther kuntikala joined na crude day in 2020 in form 1 esther was among the 64 students who were assigned to join for south throughout her life in secondary school She was a very hard working girl, disciplined, honest, self-driven and very respectful. She was very active in athletics and always represented her class in all the short races. 
that is 100 meters, 200 meters, and relays. She had a warm smile that radiated to all, our, all her classmates, making her social and friendly with everyone in class. My class is incomplete without Esther. She has left a gap that cannot be filled. I would have been happy to say that for South 2023 had 60 students. But 59 has refused to register in my mind. I believe you were placed in my class for a purpose. Your mom was our class rep, and she has guided and led our class with a lot of wisdom. She has touched the lives of many, many girls and boys in our class. Thank you, Mama Esther, for accepting to be used by God to fulfill his will. May God continue comforting you and giving you strength in this difficult journey. May our lovely Esther rest in peace till we meet again. Thank you. Tribute to our lovely friend. You see, the classroom seems so empty without you in that chair. In our minds, we know that we'll always see you there. For the jokes we crack together make us remember and miss you more. You will forever be missed. This group will never feel complete in mind and heart. You will always be right there in your seat. May our grief be replaced by cherished memories that will never fade away. May these words bring solace for sorrowing during sorrowful time of mourning. They will remain close in our hearts forever. AC, let us grieve for the bond we shared and the bonds we didn't get a chance to form since you passed too soon. We used to call you and nicknamed you Masai since you were our warrior and indeed you are. As a class, in your remembrance today, we celebrate a life well lived and one that touched the lives of many. Though you may no longer be with us in person, your memories will always live on within us and for the love you showered upon us all. In your honor, we vow as a class to carry on with the unity we had and most important, work hard for the battle ahead of us all. You have completed your puzzle and left us with an extraordinary beautiful picture. This is not number 347. Who is going to, to lead us? Esther. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more And the morning breaks eternal bright and fair When the saved of us shall gather over on the other shore And the roll is called up yonder bell. When the roll is called up yonder When the roll is called up yonder when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. On the bright and cloudy morning, when the dead in Christ shall rise, and the glory of his resurrection, when his chosen one shall gather to their home beyond the skies, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be when the roll is going up yonder, 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 I'll be there. Let us labor for the masters from the dawn to setting sun. Let us talk of all this wondrous love and care. When the roll is called up yonder, 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 I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the 
roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. Thank you very much. It is hard for us to accept that Esther is God, but with the grace of God, we know that we shall continue being strong. Mama Esther will continue praying for you. Thank you very much. Ndiyo apogia makofi mazuri. Ndiyo nilizuri kuwa kumbusha Esther Amboi. Alikuwa nafanya mtihani wa form 4 mwaka huu. Ni wiki jawa ma... Huh? Tomorrow, ya. Yeah. Angekua anakaria mtihani wake kesho. Lakini mungu wame mchukua. Tuseme nini. Ndiyo. Najua muna shindo na peleka na mnagani. Mnajua mnazoya kupatua ugali, nyama, kando. Leo na wapatia kitu kina ito mixed green. Yunafanya introduction na speeches pamoja. Kitu kina ito mixed green. Chapati kidogo, nyama kidogo, mboga kidogo, mazua kidogo. Mazua kidogo. Dio, tuata kuwa tambua wageni kutoka upande wa Nairobi kama wako. Nairobi? Kuna wageni kutoka Nairobi? Oke, okay, kutoka njoro. Wageni kutoka njoro. Wageni kutoka njoro, njoro. Wako hapi, sumameni tafadhali. Wageni kutoka njoro, sumameni, 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 sumameni. Dio, ni hawa tu? Oke. Okay. Tuna watu kutoka National Hospital Insurance Fund. Hapapo, Nancy Kuntikara anafanya kazi. Watu kutoka National Hospital Insurance Fund. NHIF wako wapi? Ndio tunaomba mmoja atusalimie. Kwa ufupi tu salamu. Patia microphone tafadhali. Mtu mmoja atusalimie tu kwa niaba ya watu hawa wamefanya heshima kubwa. Amjambo. Habari zenu? God is good and all the time. Uh, it is not easy for all of us, even if we were not so close with the uh, departed. But Nancy has been one of us. Amekua mmoja wetu. Atuja kuwa na wakati mgumu pamoja. Lakini wakati tulipa pata this news uh, tuliomba tu Mungu atusaidie kama jamii because she's our family pia na jamii yake na tunazidi tu kuendelea kuomba Mungu atupe neema uh, atuna mengi ya kusema naomba tu neema ya Mungu pole kwa familia uh, na marafiki ambao wamekuja kushikana pamoja na familia ya Nancy tuko pamoja sisi wote asante ndio apigia makofi ndio committee ambayo ilikuwa ikitayarisha mazishi haya committee committee tafadhali wali committee committee na chairman yuko wapi eh baba sami yuko baba sami Yes, yuko pare komiti wote, muneza sumama mahali muko. Kama likuwa kwenye komiti, likuwa watu karibu stini sabini. Komiti sumama mahali huko tafadhali kwa sababu likuwa, komiti wote wa sumame, tunataa kupigia makofi, komiti, chama ni kuja utusalimia. Pigia chama ni makofi ya napo kuja. Okiona mebeba koti ni kazi likuwa ngumu mbaka na, eh. Kwa hivyo patia mikrofoni ya tusalimia. Hiyo ndiwe kuwa chama ni wakomiti na alifanya kazi nzuri. Mbali ya jioni. E, kwa majina yangu na hito Oporo Maina. Mimi ni jirani ya Mama Rudhu. Na kwa niamba ya kamati, imekuja kusema asanti kwa vile kamati ilifanya hiyo kazi na juhudi. Na wawote ame tusaidia kuhusu mchana yetu am, Mungu awabariki tumefurahi kwa hiyo kasi tumefanya kwa hiyo muda watu bila kuchoka na kufanya kasi na roho moja Mungu awabariki hata wale wote wamekuja kwa hii mazishi Mungu awabariki na muwe na wakati mwema God bless you 
Nawapigia makofi. Nataka kuita vijana wote. Kama wewe ni kijana hapa, tokea hapa mbele. Nyinyi nyote mkiungana na hawa na kurudi. Vijana wote. Jana tulikuwa 400, nataka kuona 800 hapa. Jana vijana walikuwa 400 kwenye maombolezi. Vijana wote tafadhali joni hapa. Kama wewe ni kijana, ndio? Hata nyinyi yote ni vijana. Kujeni hapa. Vijana wote kama uko kijana hapa, muone vile vijana wanashikana wazee mkiregeregea sana shauri yenu. Nataka muone vile vijana. Jana tulikuwa kama 400 kwenye maombolezi. Kama wewe ni kijana tafadhali. Eh, kijana, kijana, kijana. Hata kama umeojaokoka ama umeokoka nataka mpikisha na wimbo mmoja. Patia Mwangi, patia Justin Mwangi. Patia eh, patia mpatie patia pigisha wimbo mmoja. Vijana wote wakuja kujeni usianze kama hujakuja. Vijana wote wakuja hapa. Wewe, kujeni hapa vizuri. Kujeni, kujeni, kujeni. Changanyana na hawa shule. Usiogope uniform. Changanyana tu hapo, hapo. Bora usiguze mtu. Changanyana tu hapo, bora usiguze mtu. Ndio, pigisha wimbo mmoja mzuri. Praise God.
marehemu baba yake bwana amani hawabariki pole 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 mama ruzi ndio apigia shosho makofi mazuri nataka kumuita paul 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 wairegi aongee kwa sababu ya familia paul wairegi paul wairegi paul wairegi ndio ndio mpigia makofi anapokuja Bwana asifiwe Naitwa Julius Weregi wa Karori au Baba Paul Paul ni kijana yangu Naitigo Na Haruni ni mwingine kijana yangu ambaye alikuwa anaongea on behalf of the cousins Sisi ni wa jamii hii mke wangu anaitwa anti na Elizabeth Njeri mama yake na, ma, na bibi yangu ni wa mama moja lakini kwa niamba ya familia yetu mambo ambayo aliyo mbele zetu yametukuta na tumeyakubali msichana wetu Jeri kwa maana saa nyingine tunatafuta mambo ya familia saa nyingine inakosa na saa nyingine tunaongea yale ambayo labda sio lakini vyema kusema njeri ambaye ndiye mama, uh, mama wa Esther ni katikati ya watoto katika jamii yetu na vile ambavyo ame conduct herself vile ambavyo amejichukua yeye mwenyewe baada ya mume wake miaka kumi iliyopita kumuacha huyu alikuwa na miaka samba, si ni kama klasi gani hiyo class 2 si ni mtu mdogo sana hakujua hata mambo mengi hata ya baba labda lakini mama Esther kwa niamba ya familia yetu 
tumetambua vile ambavyo yamesimama na jamii hiyo hawa ni wasichana watatu huyu ni mdogo ndiye mdogo huyu ambaye alikuwa anafanya form 4 Ruth wako America yule mwingine ah uh, sidi amaliza kabarak yani hiyo jamii hiyo kazi yote imefanyika mzee akiwa yuko ye, ni, wengi wanaharibika wengi wanajichanganya lakini kwa niamba familia yetu tunasema mama Esther hajaibisha familia Amen. na hajaibisha, hajaibisha hata na, na marafiki wa, na kanisa kwa maana hili jambo hata kwa kanisa si linachangia hata kuonyesha watu wakichagua kukaa ndani ya Bwana wanaweza endelea angekuwa amekwama angekuwa hoye hoye angekuwa hatuko kwa maana tungekuwa tunatafuta historia yetu ipati historia yake tunaipata kwa watoto na katikati ya wale watoto kwa maana kuna siblings wengine wako kumi na waliachwa miaka tano iliyopita na baba kwa miaka mitano iliyopita wamekaa watoto wote pamoja na tumeambiwa na kazi ni ambaye ni kijana yangu Halon ati ya kwamba yeye ana coordinate watu kumi ndani ya ile jamii hawajasabaratika na sisi kama jamii tumeona lile najua mambo mengine watu hawaoni na, na wakiona na iona kama ni kawaida si kawaida watu kumi kuachwa na baba hakuna mama na wamesimama vizuri kila mmoja wao amesimamia pali pake vizuri vijana wetu kwa niamba ya familia wasichana wetu simameni vile ambavyo mmesimama simamieni hiyo jamii wacha jina lile liendelee kwenda juu na kwenda juu wacha Mungu awe wa karibu katika maisha yenu tumetambua zile kazi jeria amefanya na endelea kwa maana hivi karibuni Biblia inasema Isaia tatu kumi watakatifu waambiwe nini watafurahia matunda ya kazi zao na matendo yao hivi karibuni na mimi naamini ya kwamba umeanza kukulia matunda na utakula matunda na utaendelea vizuri sana. Tumesema kama jamii tumekubariri jambo na tunasema Warumi 8:28 nasema Njeri. Na mwita Njeri kwa maana kwangu si ni mtoto tu wetu. Na deke mwita tena. Na iduke mwita roho ngu. Akili mwana vitu. Yote anafanyika kwa wema kwa wale wote ambao wanaamini. Kwa hivyo hata hili ambalo limefanyika si tumekuwa pamoja hospitali na jamii yangu 24th last month walitoka Nairobi tukaenda kuona hospitali lakini tunasema nini wakati huo tulikuwa tunasema ile nyumbani ajitayarisha kafanye mtihani sahi afanye mtihani lakini yote yamefanyika kwa wema bado Mungu ni yule yule atasimama na nyinyi na Mungu ana mudu kule hadhina buruno ya mkuru mwanake huyu jamii hiyo kwa maana tuko na tunaona kukitokea mtu ambaye anaweza ondoa nyinyi pali ambako muko sahi. na simeshikiriwa na vijana na wasichana wale wengine si jamii imesimama hata jamii yetu ile kubwa unajua nimewaona jamii yetu ni kubwa hiyo ya mbogwa na hiyo ya kiarie ni watu wengi na karibu wote wako hapa wanaweza ja hata labda tenti mbili ni watu wengi na wamekuja kusaidiana na nyinyi si ni kusimama tasimama na nyinyi count on us sidio si kwa hii peke yake lakini sisi tuko jamii mzima inashukuru Mungu kwa vile ambavyo umeendeshwa vile umeendeshwa we mwenyewe na vile ambavyo tuamini Mungu ataendelea kutushikanisha tukaendelea mbele simama na kanisa kwa maana kwa kanisa hutapotea na wale ambao ni wa jamii yetu kwa maana si nimeambia niongee kwa ajili ya jamii yetu wale ambao watuko kanisani zote lakini yule ambaye hangekuwa kanisani si angalau angalia hata na siku ya leo. Yale ambao ataona na yale atasikia. Ili angalau aende kanisani. Kanitha ine kudhione yale madhenete. Ni yale ya maturure iro nejira. Na tia ndo ala ma yetena omenyo. Bibiri nasema omenyo wa mane gwetigera ngai tutie mwetie tutikandaini. Si Mungu ambariki watu wa Mungu. Tumeendeshwa vyema na tunaamini kwamba tuko na ibanda nzuri hata na mbele yetu. Tena mshamani wa mwega mbele yetu tonga ya mwena hivi ni tondo au kuelekea yanga itu na kumwitikira ni gondole wa bata katika tine kama shamani wa mudu au mudu mudu takainoke oro uguo enda nyumbani na kitu 
either ujifundishe na jamii usikize kwa kanisa kwa maana Mungu ameleta yote ili tujifundishe nayo na ili angalau turudi nyumbani tukabadilike yake kwa mtu ni moru ni kwenu kalio moru aiko kwa nyinyi moru wakani mgo dukorwa kwa jamii yetu tupigani na hii ni kielelezo wa tupigani na hata bila tumekuja tupigani si Mungu ambariki na mtende mema kwa muri ranga inegwo udure wa vata si miaka ni miaka ni miaka ero leto ni gojero dogome ha ni komana madayo 633 nimetangulia kufanya nini kwa muri ranga hii mama ange modeli wagina kugea na omenyori itikume thutha wambita ukia muri ranga hii si Mungu ambariki na mtende mema ndio mpigia makwani mazuri amesema ya kwamba si zote hatumjui Mungu kama kuna mtu anataka kuokoka tafadhali mkono juu eh, kwa sababu inawezekana tumetoa huu mochari utarudi huko jioni ndio unaweza rudi jioni ndio eh, sasa hizi tuko hapa kuna watu wanaingizwa mochari na kuna wengine watarara mochari na labda wewe ni katikati yetu unaweza rudi mochari kwa hivyo jambo la muhimu ni kuamini mu kuamini Mungu na hakuna mtu anaandikaga barua ya kufa kilichoko ni kwamba watu wanakufa kila waka kila wakati una una makira no ikono kinyeke ate hata huyu hakuna barua aliandika ya kufa hata unaweza wada wakati wao hata mimi naweza kwenda kama nimesimama hapa ndio hapa tu nimesimama hivyo pa na inaenda uzuri ni kwamba naamini mu naamini Mungu warumi 10 inasema ya kwamba ukiamini Mungu kwa roho yako unafanyika haki ukikiri na kinywa unaokoka as simple as that as simple as a b c d hii kuingia ni rahisi sana kama ingekuwa na mtu ningekipima muone mtu anaweza kufa lakini sasa kina mtu ndani yake kwa sababu kifo lazima tuku kifo lazima tukufe na mtu ajitari litarisha mimi na vianga watu wa kwamba sasa kingine nikikaa nafungaga macho na kufikiria kama nimekufa nione kuna ndanga aje nafuga macho kidogo nafikiria Naona nimeekizwa kwenye saduku hivyo alafu nasikia niko sawa sawa. Nasema bwana ukija nienda kwa ama. Kwa amani bwana asifiwe sana. Kwa hivyo jioni ukifa ukifa kuwa na ndani ya Na ukiishi uishi. Kwa hivyo bwana asifiwe sana. Na watu wa mocha na kanga mocha wa kigoja wa. Imai karaga haumetra ile. Madhaduko me haumetra ile. Kaburi akaikari geta ile na kwa kwa kama mambo ya kifo ni kama samani tuko sasa kama kazi kwa nataka hospitali zamani daktari alikuwa anakaanga anasema next kama si hii ya siku hizi zamani wakati tulizaliwa sisi ukienda medical unaingia ukitoka daktari anasema next hata kifo ni hivyo tu Mungu akisema wewe ndio next unaingia tu pa pole pole tu pasipo ugonjwa na utajiri yako na umaskini yako na urembo wako na ujiga yako unaingia pa okay sasa tunataka kuita kikundi kinaitwa by grace. <laughs> by grace. By grace ni kikundi ambao njeri ni mmoja wao nataka kuwapatia wimbo kwa sababu ni wamama wangu nguvu sana. Hii siku wa siri wakati uko na dharau wa mama wa mwana wangu. When you see a successful man know there is a woman behind him and appear or beside. And if you see a successful woman like this one coming you know there is a woman a man beside When you see a successful woman like this you see that is very good by grace Nanyita wene no utike no horo By grace Ya tena ni ele agoigua 
Bwana asifiwe. <laughs> okay, bwana asifiwe. Nataka kuita rafiki wa Njeri. Rafiki wa nani? Wa Njeri anaitwa Naomi Otieno. Patia microphone, pigia makofi. Hiyo ni rafiki wa Njeri. God is good and all the time. Mimi ndiye Naomi Otieno ama Mama Ruth pia nampenda Kristo. Jerry ni a close friend of mine na niseme ninamwangalia juu ninamtazama kwa mambo mengi. Maana hata wakati wa mume wake, mume wake ndiye aliyetangulia alafu wangu. Kwa hivyo nilikuwa na ujasiri nikiona njeri jinsi alivyosimama na ninashukuru Mungu kwa jambo moja maana tunaambiwa ukitaka kwenda mbali uangalie wale marafiki unajizingira nao kwa hivyo jeri amekuwa kielelezo kizuri kwangu na kando na kuelimisha watoto e, nimeona ya kwamba yeye sio ule mama anaenda binguni peke yake anasema kama Joshua ya kwamba mimi na nyumba yangu tutamtumikia Bwana na kwa hivyo ningetaka tu kusema jambo moja wazazi ya kwamba hata kama tunasomesha watoto tuwekeze hata kama tunawekeza tunawatafutia mashamba na mali ingine, tuwekeze neno la Mungu ndani ya watoto wetu kadiri vile tumeona hata dada yetu amefanya na ili mtoto wako aweze kujua Mungu kivyake na ili hata kama, katika zile changamoto zilizoko katika ulimwengu mtoto ataweza kukabiliana nayo akijua e, Mungu kivyake akikuwa na a personal relationship with his god maana Mungu Kristo yeye ndiye njia kweli na uzima yeye hakuna jambo ataogopa maana hata wakati tulipokuwa tukienda hospitali tuliona e, Esther akiwa mtoto ambaye anajua Mungu wake na wale wanajua Mungu wao hawa, hawa fadhaiki. kwa hivyo hata wakati tunasema jeri anasema ni yeye atakuta mtoto bali sio mtoto atamkuta ninajua anajua na anajua kwa hivyo hata kama tunawapatia elimu ndio ninaamini na elimu sana ninaamini na kutafutia watoto maana hata mimi ni mfanyi biashara bwana asifiwe lakini kadiri biblia inasema katika medhali ya kwamba mfunze mtoto njia atakazozienenda na ha, hata ziacha na hata akiacha maana wanakuaga na wanaacha ha atarudi lazima atarudi 
kwa hivyo ninasema tuchukue kielelezo kizuri kwa dada yetu kuwekeza hata neno la Mungu ndani ya watoto wetu jeri Mungu akubariki tumecha e, imekuwa ni changamoto hata jinsi tumeona jinsi umesimama nasi tumechukua e, huo mfano mzuri Mungu azidi kukupa nguvu na kukusimamisha kukupanda katika nyumba ya Mungu vizuri kama vile neno linasema ya kwamba mwenye haki atastawi katika nyumba ya Bwana God bless you so much Pigia makofi Unaweza nunulia watoto mashamba na wanyaganywe. Unaweza kuwanunia gari na zianguke. Unaweza kumpatia bibi na bibi akufe. Sio? Lakini elimu anena na yake. Huyu pale amefika form 4 elimu anena na yake. Kama kuna kitu ya maana ni eli, hauinyaganywa na mtu. Degree ni zako, diploma ni zako pekee. Mambo hayo mengine yote unaweza kunyaganywa. Ekesa kwenye elimu ya mtoto wako. Nataka kuita kikundi kinaitwa Reho Bodhi. Reho Bodhi. Reho Bodhi haraka haraka Reho Bodhi. Nataka muinde wimbo kwa mama. Sisi dini yetu inaitwa Worldwide Gospel Church of Kenya, Bethlehem, na tunaheshimu watu wote. Ndio Reho Bodhi, Reho Bodhi. Reho Bodhi. Dio reho bodhi reho bodhi eka ina henya dimotiri ya koro reho bodhi reho bodhi reho bodhi o ne oku makana goko na motika gira kwe na mc mc mundo wa gutio muno oka gira na koko kitu gome na gie mc ina itu wa roho bodhi kikundi kingine ambao elizabeth injeri ni mmoja wao haya uka 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 ona nyumule yake kore forori mwale ke no kero ore wa ni are makofi mazuri ah ni sema kijana kaa hapo anachukua microphone sana nataka kuwaita watu wa serikali kama kuna watu wanasumbua kwa mazishi na watu wa serikali unajua na kujanga wananyakua mazishi hawakumbukagi ni mazishi unafikiri imekuwa ministry of interior ha 
Unakuta anaitwa watu wa serikali, nyumba kumi anasimama, anaalika assistant chief, assistant chief anaalika chief, anaalika ICC, DCC, minister, wanasawa hii ni mazishi. Sio? Kwa hivyo sasa nataka muone utaratibu leo. Hapana nyakuwa hii ni mazi? Ni mazishi. Serikali, please tell wa serikali. <laughs> eh? Tuliana mazishi mengine hapa hapa tu. Mtu anaona kwa kasumama aka introduce nyumba kumi wote. Assistant chief wote machifu yote masaa mbili ikakuwa ni kama minister of interior iko hapa hii ni mazishi mr kenyanjui haleluya bwana asifiwe lakini sisi tumeokoka haleluya tuinue mikono tusalimiane oh yes majina yangu naitwa pita kenyanjui na kunyumbani wananiita baba wa noe wa noe ni mama angu na heshima wazazi kama vile nimeheshimu mama Esther. Bwana asifiwe sana. Langu ni machache. Ah uh, nitasema kwa niaba ya assistant chief wetu, nianze na chini au senior assistant chief na senior chief. Nataka kurete rabi rabi zao kwa mama Esther. Wa kisema ya kwamba uwe na nguvu na wanakulida vyema na kwa niamba ya viongozi wa mbaye tunalida area mimi elder tuko na nyumba kumi na maya maestar amezingirwa na elders karibu wanne na leta rabi rabi zao usichukue uh, mc kuna kitu nataka nifanye kwa sababu ya upendo ya esta unipe tu ruhusa tu haleluya ni kuongea nataka kuongea kuhusu mtoto upendo ambaye alitupa tangia mwanzo bwana asifiwe sana huyu esta amekuwa upendo kwetu na ninataka wazee ambaye nitawaita wakuje hapa kuna kitu nataka kuwaambia baba sami kuja baba kinyajui kuja mwirole kuja kujeni hapa tafadhali haraka wale tulianza nao kuleta stima katika area ya kwetu sikenyu wakuja Baba shiko kuja harakisheni harakisheni kujeni kuna kitu nataka niwaambie mbele ya wa wazee ambaye tangia wakati Esther alikuwa hai kuna kitu kilikuwa kinenkera moyoni kujeni 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 sa baba sami kuja baba kenyanjui kuja kenyu kuja muirore kuja weoda haleluya kaya baba kairo kuja haraka haraka tufanye hiyo haraka yes kuja 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 mkujeni mkiwa na mr wakili kuja haleluya kujeni kujeni kuna kitu nataka niseme budhi ya kuja haleluya watu wanashidwa ni nini nataka kufanya na lakini sikizeni sisi ni jamii moja ambayo tunaishi mahali pale lakini kuna wengine ambao wako baba Kenyanjui sijui wako wapi lakini kuna kitu ambaye tangia wakati tulishikana na Hawa Esther alikuwa na upendo kwetu ni upendo nataka kuleta kwenu kuna siku moja ambaye tulianza kujadiliana na Hawa wazee kuhusu stima kwetu ilikuwa on Sunday saa kumi na moja si mnakumbuka na wakati tukiwa tumekaa kwa chini tukajadiliana vile ili ya kwetu inaweza kuleta ustima. Esther akakuja. Alikaa miguuni ya babake. Na wakati tulijadiliana vile stima linaweza kuja, Esther alifurahia sana akaambia babake, "Baba, tutakuwa na stima." Haleluya. Amen. Hiyo ni namba moja. Tukanja, tukawa tunataka kuweja kuweka maji katika ili ya kwetu. Na wakati tukiwa komiti huo mtoto hatu hakuwa na tuacha. Usiku alikuwa na sisi tukijadiliana. Alituonesha upendo mkubwa katika jiji letu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na dipoza nimerete hao watu tukumbuke vile Esther alikuwa akikuja karibu na sisi wakati tunajadiliana. Tulikuwa tunampenda, alikuwa na heshima sisi na tukua tunaona kama ni mtoto wa kuingine. Tulikuwa tunaona kama ni mtoto wa kwetu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na Esther Hakuna dosari tunaye. Bwana asifiwe sana. Yeye 
alikuwa mtu mtoto ambaye ni mtiifu na kwangu kwangu kuna kitu ambaye kimeniguza kwa sababu yeye na vijana wangu wawili kama ungemkuta na vijana wangu ni e alikuwa kama mtoto wangu wa, wa mwisho bwana asifiwe sana kwa hivyo nimerete hao nikumbuke hiyo upendo tulikuwa naye katika mwanzo wa kuweka stima na maji esa hatuacha na alifurahia kasi wazee hao walifanya na Mungu waraze mvema peponi asanteni Sisi mwambie watu wa serikali wanasumbua sana. Tunaambia mwana tu siku fitina mlisiku na fitina. Sio watu wanasumbua anga watu wa serikali. Hata wao ni afadhali leo wamefanya wanasumbua anga sana. Wanakuja wananyakua mkutano wana lakini ni afadhali yako peke yake. Kuna mwingine? Kuna assistant chief? Chief? MCA? MP? Governor? President? Okay. Ndio. <laughs> Sasa kuita rafiki wa Sini, Sini ya wapi? Sini. Sini yako? Ndio. Sini aje, atusalimie karibu karibu Sini. Hatuwezi kumsahau. Nitaka aje amalizie hapo mwisho mwisho. Tukitoka hapo tunaingia tributes. Ndio. Unajua mimi namaliza mashi saa saba lakini leo hakuna haraka. Unajua kuna watu wanasema mnene akiwa hapo ni saa saba leo hakuna haraka. Unajua ni sasa lakini leo hakuna haraka kwa sababu miaka yake imeenda mapema. Ile gaishi ingine tunaweza itumia kidogo hapa. Good morning. Uh, my name is Swini Esther's best friend. In loving memory memory of our dear friend sadly although you are no longer here somehow you remain ever near your memories are treasured within my our heart you are ever so precious and dear i remember you with the warmest thoughts you are unforgettable i remember you with fond memories you are so wonderful you are one in a million and you'll always be the precious and unique friend we get for so dearly Life is not the same without you. <laughs> You're irrepressible. I'll always cherish the memories of you. I'll always treasure you. For though you may be out of sight, you'll forever be in our hearts and mind. Your memories are very precious to us. I treasure them endlessly. I wish we could see you one more time come walking through the door but I know that is impossible I will hear your voice no more I know you can feel my tears I know you don't want me to cry yet my heart is broken because I can't understand why someone so precious had to die I pray that God would give me strength and give your family and friends strength and somehow get me through and your family as we struggle with this heartache that came when i lost you as i was as i was such a good person she used to smile one thing i remember about her she used to wear a mask okay mpigia makofi hata kama ukusikia mingi umesikia Esther was a nice girl. Si ndio? Hata kama ukusikia mingi ama utapeleka nyingi taenda tu nyumbani useme Esther was a nice girl. Ndio. Tunaenda kwa tribute ya mama Esther Bethinjeri. Tribute yake. Tribute ya mama. Ndio tribute. Mpigie makofi anapokuja. My angel, my precious jewel, perfect, my bazoo, gift sent from heaven, and now taken back to heaven. I love you, I treasure you, I miss you. God give me the best child, my dear daughter. 
it, will, it is with great gr grief that I am leading this. I can't explain how, but, ju but just to know you will forever be in my class. You will be my Kalastiborn daughter. How, I, how, however, be, be my Kalastiborn daughter, how I am even going to cope, Esther, you took me not only as, you took me not only as your mother, but you were best friends. You were very open with me. I remember you asking me things, then nakwambia. Unajua mimi ni mama yako? Our jokes, my daughter, our high and low, low moment, I will miss all that. Walking with you, walking with you, Niki Kusumbua, you telling me, Mama, Mom, Achana na Mimi. Wow, it is too much to bear. You shared, I love you, my daughter. I will, oh, I always will, gone too soon. But I believe it is well with me forever in my heart, Esther. Amen. Yes, and Pigia Makofi, no Kumbuka Kumbuka. Tuna ya Ruth Wangare, kwa USA, nani anasoma tribute yake? Anayasoma kwa niamba ya Ruth Wangare, kuntikara. God is good, and all the time. I'm Ruth Kinyanjui. A cousin to Esther. I'm reading this on behalf of Ruth Kuntinkala. We know you are watching us. Hey, Esi, our bazoo. Honestly, this has been hard to put into writing because no amount of words can describe the void you left in our hearts. A thousand words won't bring you back. I know because I've tried. Neither will a thousand tears because I've cried. If tears could build a stairway of memories, Elena would walk to heaven and bring you back home. I keep asking why is it that you had to go? Why is life so cruel? I wish you have stayed. I wish you could have stayed with us forever. But God had other plans because he always chooses the best. Thank you for being an amazing sister. I could never ask your love, care, kindness, charisma, courage, strength, and resilience drew people to you, not forgetting your good dancing skills and expensive taste in fashion. Thank you for making me proud, big sister. I keep rewinding all the good memories we shared, the jokes, the cries, the gossip, the long conversations, the fights, the hard times we got through together, and all the happy times will forever be cherished and treasured in my heart. I still remember the last conversation we had. You were complaining that the doctor kept postponing your discharge date. And I wish I knew that was our last conversation. I could have made it longer. The last, the last Nakupenda Zaidi still rings in my head. As for mom and Nancy, it's not been easy. The pain in our hearts is heavy, but we will learn how to live through it. There will be no one to fill the void and no one to take your special spot in our hearts, even though you flew away. In our hearts forever you will stay. I hope that wherever you are right now, you are at peace and happy. I love and miss you, AC. You will forever be in my thoughts and heart. Rest in peace. We know you are in a better place, and one day we shall meet again. John 13, 7, Jesus answered, You don't understand now what I'm doing, but someday you will. Um, 
ndio unasikia gossip lakini gossip mzuri si ndio remember that gossip unasikia kuna gossip mzuri na ile mbaya unaweza gossip mzuri sasa gossip kitu mzuri bwana asifiwe sana nice tribute Praise God. Esther our bazu, our fearless girl and forever Kalasti. I'm already missing you big. By the way, umengara na nimekukopi luku since you have a very expensive taste in fashion. I don't know how or when I'll understand why this had to happen. This is a pain that I will have to learn to live with it. Your spirit will carry on in the memories we together as sisters. We were lockstep with each other succe- successfully building a world for which only we had the keys. Our arguments, fun times, I'll miss taking care of you. Esther, I love you and I will always love you. Physically, you may not be here, but we are together in spirit. I am jealous of you. You'll get to meet dad even before us. Say hi to dad and watch over mom, Ruth. Baby Bree and I we love you and will forever love you we all stay strong because one thing you hated is seeing us cry i remember every time when you were in hospital always telling mom sasa unalia kwa nini that always will forever remain with us and will always be strong because you are a strong girl rest in peace i love you forever in my heart leo tunataka Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Tusalambiane tena za karibu na binguni pande ile. Amen. Nataka kurudisha shukrani kwa niaba ya jamii kwanza kabisa tungependa kumrudishia Mungu shukurani kwa sababu ya kutupatia huyu mtoto wetu miaka hiyo tunasema asante kwa Mwenyezi Mungu na batu tungependa kurudisha shukurani kwa sababu ya jamii jambo hili lilipotukia na hata kabla halijatukia jamii imejitolea mtoto huyu wetu alilazwa hospitali kadhaa kadhaa hapa na pesa nyingi zimetumika na watu wa jamii walijitolea kwa pesa zao na kwa mali yao kwenda hospitali hata kulala kule na omba Mungu abariki jamii yote nzima because of your giving because of your love and because of your support pia ningependa kushukuru mchungaji Samuel Reverend Samuel Mathew Mungu akubariki Semeni pasta abarikiwe. Na watu wa Mungu wale hamuna wachungaji Mungu awapatie wachungaji. Have a pastor. Ambia jirani have a pastor. Najua hataki kuongea lakini mimi nimeona kujitolea kukubwa kwa huyu mchungaji. Nikienda leo nakuta yeye alikuwa asubuhi. Siku ile sijaenda nimetuma mke wangu yeye yeah, amekuwa jioni. Kuwapeleka, kuwaona, kuwapeleka. It was endless. Nikasema ni, ni vizuri kuwa na mchungaji kama huyu. Bwana asifiwe. Mungu akubariki wewe na jamii yako. Na uishi miaka mingi. Na mi na kuanga pia nabii, na tabiri, na huduma yako pia ikuwe kubwa katika jina la Yesu. May you be a voice in this nation. Hey, not only in Kenya, even internationally. Bwana asifiwe. Mungu akubariki. I'm lost for words. Majirani <laughs> wabarikiwe. Mimi sijaona majirani wa aina hii. Sikiliza maneno haya. Unaenda kwa maombolezi saa moja chai imeiva. Saa moja wamekuja wamepika chai, chakula kimekuwa kwa wingi. Majirani Mungu awabariki. Siku ya kwanza tayari hema imewekwa na wameanza kazi nzuri. Mungu awabariki. Kamati, kamati ya ndege kweli kabisa mbumeguza moyo wangu nimekaa estate nyingi town hii lakini hiyo ilinishangaza wanaume wanakuja wanajaa kwa nyumba 
paka wengine na sio watu wadogo wadogo ati hivi hivi ni watu wana mali yao lakini wanakuja kwa kamati hata ukiwa kwa hiyo kamati unasikia raha Mungu awabariki wa katika jina la Yesu kikundi cha black and white mubarikiwe mnajijua umoja wa ndege Mungu awabariki wa katika jina la Yesu hospitality yenu imetushangaza Bwana wabariki na kurude Mungu awabariki wa thank you tuliwaona tumewaona na sauti yenu tumeisikia deputy wetu si Mungu akubariki thank you for accompanying the team wanasikia wakiwa safe wanafunzi pia Mungu awabariki wa class teacher na hawa wengine wote watu wa NHIF msichana wetu ameungana nanyi muda mfupi tu na jameni mumekuja si nyinyi ni watu wa nguvu Mungu ajakaa huko sana lakini nimeona hawajatuma mtu mmoja wamekuja a team Mungu awabariki wa katika jina la Yesu daktari Rakwach alijaribu science yake yote alijaribu Mungu ambariki nasema abarikiwe Science yake alijaribu ya kusaidia huyu mtoto wetu. Wale wako nje ya nchi maana wanatutazama na walituma msaada wao. Wabarikiwe. Present mourners wabarikiwe. Online mourners wabarikiwe. Na kweli kabisa uliyehusika kwa njia moja ulitembea, ulituma pesa, ulituombea, umejilete na wale wote sijataja majina yenu si Mungu awabariki na Mungu awainue. Semeni amen. Tuseme amen kwa niaba yote. Tuseme amen. Wote wabarikiwe katika jina la Yesu. As a family we have no words but we say may God who sees in secret bless you abundantly in Jesus name. Amen. Mimi ni mchao wa kanisa. Makigwe radhuri ya kanisa mapusa go. Au gabadi tatuzana na hadi takuna dagweta. Okay. <laughs> Kufuta <laughs> Sasa tunataka kuamka sasa tuimbe tafadhali kila mtu amke tuongozwe kwa nyimbo za kusifu saa sawa kwa dakika nzuri saa sawa huyu msichana alipenda sana kuimba alipenda ku dance na kwa hivyo lazima tupatie nafasi hiyo tufanye nzuri leo
Ndio apigia makofi. Ndio. Ninaona wengine hawako akiimba. Lakini sawa tu si Mungu ameona. Eh Mungu ameona tu. Amekupa mdomo lakini utaki kumwimbia. Na Mungu ana na kile upandacho ndicho tafanya nini? Sasa tumeingia dini dini. Kanisa hili leo tu ina Kristo Yesu lakini dini inaitwa Worldwide Gospel Church of Kenya, Bethlehem Local Church where everybody is welcome. sana. Lakini kanisa ni ya Yesu. Dini ni Worldwide Gospel Church of Kenya. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na Esther Wamboi Kuntikala amekuwa mwanayuthi wetu. Mzuri. Bila skando. Ndio. Mwanayuthi mzuri? Mzuri. Ndio maana tuko hapa mia kwa mia. Ndio. Bwana asifiwe sana. Mimi ndio patron wa Nayuth katika dini hiyo. Lakini nataka kumuita mwalimu mkuu aweze kuja kutusalamia na afanye inayo mpasa. Hebu sana, bado ni kanjunge. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Na wasalimu nyote katika jina la Yesu wa mjambo. Hata na mimi niko na furaha mchana wa leo ni kwa sababu ya vile Mungu amekuwa pamoja nasi. Ameturida, ametusaidia. Tumeona mkono wake ukiwa pamoja nasi. Na mbele yetu tuna dada yetu ambaye amekuwa katika youth na mimi ni mwalimu wa youth. Na nimefundisha kwa muda kutoka wakati akiwa Sunday school amekuwa pamoja na mimi na nimeona akiwa mtoto mzuri akiwa mtoto mtiivu na kuna jambo tu ningetaka kuambia vijana ya kwamba saa hii muna hofu kwa sababu Esther ameenda lakini amemaliza kasi yake salama na ameenda kuwa na bwana wake katika pumziko la binguni lakini swali langu ni je wewe kama kijana maisha yako ama vile wewe unaendesha ma, maisha yako utaenda namna gani ningeomba tu Mungu atusaidie isiwe tu ni kuangalia tunaangalia na tulie lakini tuwe na nafasi ya kujihoji hata sisi tumebaki kwa sababu ni sisi tutamkuta huko binguni ambako ameenda na kwa hivyo tujitayarishe kila kijana chunguza tabia zako jua unaenda namna gani tafuta uhusiano wako na Mungu na ili upate kujua siku moja kila mtu atasimama mbele ya Mungu akiwa peke yake. Nimesoya kuambia katika darasa ya kwamba be yourself wewe peke yako. Maana maisha ni yako wewe mwenyewe. Esther tumekuwa naye kwa youth na sasa ametuacha. Je wewe maisha yako utamalizia namna gani? Si Mungu atusaidie. Na nyinyi wazazi Mungu awasaidie ili mpeleke watoto wenu katika nyumba ya Mungu ni kwa sababu kama hamunge angepelekwa katika nyumba ya Mungu ingewezekana asijue Mungu na muda wake ulikuwa mfupi. Kwa hivyo tuchunge watoto wetu, tuwasaidie katika njia za Mungu, maana mambo haya mengine yote tunaweza wapea, lakini katika kupanda neno la Mungu ndani ya mtoto ni kazi yako msasi. Si Mungu atusaidie. Ah uh, Ru, mama Ru, tumekuwa naye kwa darasa moja tunasomeshana na yeye na ninashukuru Mungu kwa sababu amempa nguvu na amemsaidia na hata na mimi ninaamini vijana wenzangu mtaendelea kuwa wazuri watiifu na katika mikutano yetu tuwe tukihudhuria kila wakati kwa sababu muda wa mwanadamu yeyote ni mfupi Bwana asifiwe Nitasoma tribute naitwa Teacher Vero Eurogizing the red Esther Wamboi Kuntikara. Today we are honoring, celebrating, and remembering life well lived of Esther Wamboi Kuntikara. She was a youth full of grace and humor. She had a magical way of bringing joy to our youth class. No one who met her could forget this to smile. As her teacher, I know that she is in a better place in heaven. I can't believe you're a kid in 
I personally have many memories to be grateful for, it is said. The value of life is not in it, its duration, but its donation. You are not important because of how long you live. You are, you are important because of how effective your life is. Esther was such a person. As a class, we will miss her so much. Teacher Ferro, rest well, Lala Salama. Yo pigia makofi. Yo do marimu ana yuthi Bethlehem local church where everybody is. I mean your patroniake. Tu pigia makofi. Good. Unajua pereka mtoto yako kwenye nini? Kanisa. Ukienda mahali panaitwa Mogotio. Wangapi unajua Mogotio? Ndio utakuta history inasema hivi. Mtu wa kwanza ribuko wa kanisa la Kathore, Kambia Moto Center ni huyu mtu, Stephen Munene wa Itiko ribuko wa kwanza na kama ni hivyo enda mgotio kwa hiyo makataba inaitwa kwa nini makataba uangalie historia utasikia kwamba ribuko wa kwanza Catholic Church Kampia Moto ni Stephen Munene wa Itito 1967 so yoka irani dokirata very good bonus <laughs> Unajua umeambua vijana, unajua vijana kama saa hizi wanakaa ndio wanaona kuna kifo kuna nini? Ikifika kesho bangi mbram bram bram. Mwalimu amesema saa hizi una kula tu wanakaa tu hivi. Hivi, hivi, hivi. Hivi, kwa sababu wanaona kifo hapa karibu. Kesho wanaanza bangi. Alafu akaza bangi anakutwa kama kitaharisha. Hii ni kujifanya tu, kujifanya tu. Lakini Yesu alisema ya kwamba imani yangu isipopita ile ya wafarisayo mtaona tabu. Na vijana wanakaa tu hivi, hivi. Anasema aongee tu na ingine iko mfuko. Kuna watu wana bangi hapa mfukoni. Kuna watu wana bangi mfuko? Sasa hivi kuna watu wana bangi mfukoni hapa. Na pombe mfuko? Lakini maisha ni yako bwana. Punda funga punda pale unataka. Ukweli ni kwamba ukija hapa baada hii utasimama mbele ya Mungu na utahukumi. Funga punda yako pale unataka. Kunywa bangi kabisa. Najua mimi si kama mapasta wanabebeza watu. Mimi nasema ukitaka kuokoka okoka kama utaki kaa. Wani ukiokoka unasaidia nani? Eh na samanga hivyo mimi ni administrator kanisa ukitaka kuokoka okoka kama utaki kuokoka ka hakuna mtu unasaidia na kwani ukiokoka utasaidia nani hata mungu wako umsaidia maisha ni ya na maamusi unaofanya uzee ni final uzee ni finali eh hata usipokufa uzee ni final maamusi yote unayofanya itajiandika maamusi yote unayofanya katika maisha yako itajiandika Uzee ni finali. Tuko katika kipindi cha kanisa. Bwana asifiwe sana. Nataka kuita chair ready wa dini hii ya worldwide. Dini. Unajua watu wengi wanachanganyanga kanisa na dini. Hizi zingine ndizo imagine ni dini zote. Hakuna kanisa ni Yesu. Basi bwana apewe sifa. Wewe you know unao tunafanana? Eh. Yeah. Niliwa dada yangu na nifuata. Bwana apeo sifa kanisa la maombolezi. Bwana apeo sifa. Amen. Majina yangu ninaume wanjiko munene. Nimeokoka na mpenda Yesu. Nataka kuongea habari ya huyu amerara hapa Esther. Alikuwa mwanayudhi wa kanisa yetu. Mwanayudhi tulimpenda. Mtoto mzuri. Mtoto alikuwa anajiweka ngufu maana hata wakati alikuwa hospitalini ilimtembelea mara mingi. Lakini hakuwa na kufa moyo. Alikuwa naona atasimama. At, 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 Ambiwa na mama hake ya mshikiria watoki iji anasema apana. Anataka kudie, a, kusimama yeye mwenyewe na ajifanyie kazi yake. Lakini amerala. Wakati yesa alilala, a, kuna jabo moja nilikumbuka. Nikakumbuka ya kwamba wakati mama yake alipata yesa. Tulitangaziwa kumepatikana na mgeni. Si ndio wa mama. Wakati unapata mtoto, aa, kila mtu anasemanga mkuja mkunywe chai ya mgeni, maana mgeni amesaliwa. Kwa hivyo mtoto wote ama wewe wakati uli, ulisaliwa umekuwa mgeni. Na ugenini umekuja duniani na duniani hauishi. Maana sisi zote ni wageni. Lakini uzuri wa Yesa amelala akiwa ndani ya Yesu. Wewe kijana tafadhali 
Lala uh, uh, umjua Bwana Yesu maana siku moja utalala. Wewe mama, wewe mzee, jua ya kwamba sisi wote ni wasafiri. Na wakati ugeni wetu utaisha, maana hapa tulikuja kabulini uh, kuna wengine walitembelea mama Ruth wakiwa wageni. Lakini siku yao ya kuenda nyumbani itafika. Na sisi wote ni wageni na wapitaji. Siku moja tutaenda nyumbani. Lakini swali langu ni je, utaenda ukiwa aje? Todoge kuo no ginya tole kuwa no mwini walo eba kiuga kiori yagi ya kuwa kena nene ya terere uka haufanerio uhanatea Family ya mama Luth mjiweke ngufu na mungu wa mewasaidia si mungu wa amani ya wabariki Amen Ndiyo Pigia makofi mzuri Unasikia anaongea kama mimi ile kitu hana nifujo kama mimi Nata kumita Elda Elda Francis Kariuki mzo wakaniza mpigia makofi Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Majina ni kama jinsi ambavyo mmeambiwa. Naitwa Francis Kadioki, saidi yote nimeokoka. Yesu Kristo nikimbilio na hata tegemeo la maisha yangu. Siku ya leo ni furaha na hata pia ni huzuni tukisindikisha kijana kama huyu, kijana mdogo, kijana ambaye tulikuwa tumempenda. Na jambo kubwa ni kwamba huyu esta alikuwa na upendo matendo yake yalikuwa matendo ambayo yalikuwa ya upendo nikisema upendo huo uhakika ambao pia wote ambao pengine ni wadini letu la Bethlehem katika kijiji mnaelewa jinsi vile ninasema kwa hivyo wakati ambapo Mwenyezi Mungu amekupatia muda wako hebu kaweza kuitumia vizuri ukaweza kuwa na jambo la kusema ama jambo ambalo watu wengine watakuwa wakijivunia kuwa we ni mpatanishi we ni mwenye upendo we ni mtu ambaye hupenda wale wengine kama jinsi mnavyoona wa vijana hawa vijana wetu wa kanisa letu wako na husuni kwa maana mmoja wao amewaondokea na hata sisi katika kanisa tuko, tuko na husuni kubwa kwa maana ni kijana ambaye alikuwa anapenda watu ni kijana ambaye alikuwa anapenda kuwa katika fulaha je wewe wakati wako wa mwisho utakamna gani kwa hivyo ni wewe mwenyewe uamue jinsi ambavyo utakavyoka katika na watu na hata pia ambao mmezingirwa nao kijumla. Si mnaona mpaka mashule watoto hao wamekuja, wamekuja kwa ajili ya upendo. Walikuwa na mambo mengi wangefanya lakini upendo huo wote wa Esther ukawavutia na wakasema na waka huwa na jambo la kukuja kumsindikisha. Bwana uzima ambariki, amonekanie na tuwe na upendo kama jinsi vile Esther ametufunza kuwa na upendo huo. Barikiweni sana. Pigia makofi. Nimeona watoto wanakurude, wanakunja uzo wa mela ukisikia njaa, na kila lazima wafumilie kwa sababu watu walichelewa. Pigia wa makofi. Watu walifanya tucherewa kwa saa moja. Kwa hivyo vijana mkuwe na njaa na mfumilie. Najua tulikuwa shule hata sisi. Ikifika saa saba, tunaanza kuangalia jikoni. Kwa hivyo saa mmeanza kufikia ombi ya jikoni, mfumilie kwa sababu nyinyi ndio mchelewa. Ndio. Sasa wale watakaofuata ni dakika moja moja. Watakaofuata dakika moja moja. Ningemuita mdogo wa chair red lakini ndio mama wa Esther. Hiyo mama wa Esther wa Mboya ambao ametuacha yeye ndio assistant chair red wa dini yetu na kwa hivyo sitamuita. Yeye ndio diko ni wetu na pia ni chair red mpigia makofi. Kwa hivyo nataka kwanza kuita kwaya. Kwaya wimbo moja. Alafu wengine watakao fuata dakika moja moja. Wimbo moja. Thank 
Gloria o Mose, no le quedes ganar, no se uga o tiraga. Mose, me que caga, o a vega, corre te quia. Oh, no, I've been on 
Kujanda appearance. Kujani mwangalia huyo. Ndio. Kwa hiyo atakao fuata dakika moja moja. Salamu peke yake. Miss Madhu. Salamu. Na penda kuwa salimu katika jina la Yesu Kristo amjambo. Iko sawa. Bwana <laughs> Yesu asifiwe. Bwana apewe sifa kwa jina langu ni kama vile nimetajwa naitwa Anne Mathu na nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana. Uh, ninashukuru Bwana kwa maisha ambayo ametupa Dada Esther na amekuwa na amefanyika baraka. Kwa the counting colors nataka kuambia kwamba muzidi kumfanya Mungu tumaini. Mimi ninajua Mungu wako Elizabeth na ninajua unaniambiaga nega yutoe kuho tuonitake. Hata wakati huu hajashindwa na hata jua kushindwa na atafanyika msaada wenyu na rafiki wenyu wa karibu. Mungu wa uzima wa bariki. Amen. Ndio. Sasa sasa hiyo ndio example ya wale watu watakafuata. Sipokuwa mhubiri. Hiyo ndio sambo ya kusoma. Okay, we, vijana wote wa Bethlehem Local Church, Worldwide Gospel, vijana wote. Vijana wote. Tribute, mna tribute. Okay, vijana wote wasomame na huyo William wasome tribute. Vijana wote haraka hapa. Vijana wote hapa. Vijana wote, vijana wote wa Bethlehem Local Church, Worldwide Gospel Church of Kenya. Haraka haraka, haraka haraka. Haraka haraka. This is a tribute from us to Esther. Esther was a very special person to us, always happy and friendly. She had this wisdom, wonderful, of, and of making people around her feel good. She was jovial, always ready with a smile and a kind word. She had a big heart that some of us could lean on her no matter what. She understood people in a way that truly was remarkable. In her presence, there is a way you could feel valued and heard. She offered comfort and support, making sure all was well, no matter the situation. She was like a rock, a person that you could count on. And Esther's kindness and understanding made the world a better place. We will cherish the memories of her laughter, the way she made us feel accepted. Though she is no longer with us, the memories we share together will forever remain with our hearts and our love towards her will never cease. Esther, to us we believe that you are a blessing and in our heart you will still remain. We thank you for the warmth, your friendship and your unbearing support. Thank you for the gracing, uh, thank you for gracing our lives with your presence and may you, may you find eternal peace. We will miss you dearly, but spirit will remain in our hearts. Rest in peace. Coffee. Ndiyo kama wewe huko mahari kutoka dini yote pale kama wewe ni Shemanzi Rerida sumama mahari huko I want to appreciate you wale wote ambao ni viongozi kama Mashemanzi Rerida kanisani sumameni wale wako wale wako wasumame wasumame muko muko wachana hawa wazao wa kanisa wote mahari huko kama wewe ni mzao wa kanisa kama wewe ni mzao wa kanisa sumama mahari huko Mahari ya kare kutia yuki doaro kama kukuro kama ite. Waza wa kanisa mahari wako tafadhali. Waza wa kanisa I want to appreciate you wako hapi. Wakazi, wadini yote hata kama ni shehe. Hata kama wataka ha. Waza wa kanisa waza wa kanisa wapigia makofi. Bethlehem loko church. Yote hapa. Bethlehem loko church. Wimbo moja. Bethlehem loko church. Dini ya Bethlehem Local Church. Pamoja na youth wote, hapa nimesema dini ya Worldwide Gospel Church of Crown, Bethlehem. Hata vijana wote. Wakuja hapa, wakuja hapa, wote. Ha? Wapi, 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 vijana wote, wakuja, wote, wakuja, wote, wakuja, wote, wakuja. Besto, nikioreka, nimesema Bethlehem Local Church, Besto. Nikairi ya Andrauga, ni MC. Daniel Dawaku, Adaba Igreo Mori, Aja Nakira, Wimbo. Hallelujah, 
Tunasema bwana asante Tunasema bwana asante Haleluya tumwambie bwana asante Tumwambie bwana asante Eh piga makofi tumwambie bwana asante
Ndio. Ah, sasa tunabakisha dakika kumi, alafu muhubiri aweze kusumama. Ndio. Tunataka kumuita Pastor Budhia. Amekuwa na sisi sana tangu tulipoanza maombereso haya. Nataka kumpatia heshima hizo. Yesu wa dini yetu lakini amesumama na sisi sana. Nasikia kusumama sana. Baka watakafikia na mmoja wetu. Nataka kupatia nafasi hiyo awaleto wahubiri wote. Alafu yeye ndio atakanenda kwa niaba hawa wengine. Kwa hivyo wengine ni salamu. Salamu. Karibu sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nataka nianzie mahali ambapo Nancy alimalizia. Alimanzia alimalizia kwa kusema Esther alipokuwa naona mama yake analia alikuwa anamuuliza unalia nini. Amen. Manake ni kwamba hakutaka watu walie. Kwa hivyo kama una jirani ambaye anakaa kulia muambie usilie. Ah, muambie kwa ujasiri usilie. Muambie panguza machozi. Tumekuja sherehe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuna jambo moja ambalo nataka niwaambie ya kwamba tunapoenda mazishi ya mtu ambaye alimjua Kristo tunaenda sherehe. Amen. Tunaenda kusindikiza shujaa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na kwa hivyo hatuja kuja kulia, ninajua wakati mwingine mwili ni mdhaifu, wakati mwingine inakuwa ni ngumu, lakini nataka nikuzungumzie ni kuambie ya kwamba hapa amelala shujaa aliyefanya kazi yake akamaliza na kwa hivyo hatuna sababu ya kulia. Tumekuja hapa kushangilia yale ambayo Mungu alimwezesha kuyafanya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wakati jeshi mmoja anapopumzika na wanaenda kumsindikiza wanapiga bastora za kumaanisha kwamba shujaa amefanya nini amepumzika Bwana Yesu asifiwe na siku ya leo nataka tushangilie Bwana kusema ya kwamba shujaa amemaliza safari shujaa amemaliza mwendo shujaa amepigana vita na kwa hivyo kama una sauti Mungu amekupa sauti na kama una mikono Mungu amekupa mikono na kama unaweza kusimama kwa sababu Mungu amekupa miguu nataka tusimame tumshangilie Bwana na tumwambie asante kwa sababu ya maisha ya Esther haleluya thank you Jesus I know we can do better than that. Najua tunaweza fanya bora kuliko hiyo. Najua pande hii watu wamepewa miguu. Kwa nini mnaketi? Kuna watu hawana miguu. Wangejaribu kupenda kusimama lakini hawawezi. Hata pande hii vijana, wanafunzi, wenzangu, mimi pia ni mwanafunzi. Tuna miguu. Mungu ametupa miguu. Na ametupa mikono, ametupa sauti. Kuna watu wangependa kuongea lakini hawawezi. Na kwa dakika moja nataka tupase sauti zetu tumpe shujaa huyo ambaye amepumzika abastola ya kushangilia kumwambia amemaliza safari katika jina la Yesu mara nyingine tena paza sauti yako haleluya hey! thank you jesus haleluya glory to god si mungu ni mwema si yeye ni mwaminifu usilie mama ruth usilie nancy usilie and cost to silie kwa sababu Mungu anajua tunaweza kukosa kujua tunaweza kukosa kuelewa lakini Mungu wetu anajua na anaelewa na yeye hashangazwi na jambo there is nothing that puzzles god unajua puzzle ni nini ni ile kitu unajaza unangengana unangengana wakati mwingine na kushinda there is nothing that puzzles god Bwana Yesu asifiwe wanafunzi wenzangu mnapoenda kufanya mitihani usishanga maskofu na kwa sababu nimetumia zaidi dakika moja ninyi mtaji chad taja majina na kisha mtasema mahali ambapo mnahudumu e, na kwa sababu sisi ni watiifu na tumefundishwa tutafanya kama vile tulivyoagizwa na kwa hivyo naomba nyote mje hapa mbele na kanisa la mazishi naomba tuwapigie mikono wanapokuja Makofi mazuri. Pigia mchungaji wako makofi mazuri. Unaweza kufanya bora kuliko hiyo. Asante sana. Thank you very much. 
So naomba tuangalie kamera hii. Alafu kisha taweza kujitambulisha. Tutataja jina lako na mahali ambapo una hudumu katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Naitwa Reverend Stephen Kenya Jua Bogwa na hudumu Deliverance Church pale Barnabas. Mungu awabariki. Makofi mazuri. Asante sana. Bwana asifiwe. Reverend Zakaria Mwangi, Deliverance Church, mahale pale panaitwa Kaka James. Bwana wabariki. Amen. God bless you. Makofi mazuri kwake. Bwana asifiwe. Naitwa Stephen Dilangu, CFF Machini, chini ya Reverend William. God bless you. Makofi mazuri. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Naitwa Reverend Peter Washiri. Mimi ni kutoka katika the Hebula World and Gospel Church of Kenya. Loko church inaitwa Gospel Worship Center pale Mashini. Asante sana Reverend God bless you. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa majina ni Pastor Joseph Maina na hudumu na kanisa la Voice of Gospel pale Dimo. Mungu awabariki. Amen. Asante sana wachungaji kwa sababu oh samahani. Karibu sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Naitwa jo, Pastor Joseph Moreithi na chunga kanisa pale la NET naitwa Joyland Bible Churches. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Naitwa Lever David Chege na hudumu na kanisa la Kenya Sebris of God Subukia. Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. Majina yangu ni mchungaji Penina Macharia pale Life Church Mashini. Asante tu wapewa chungaji makofi mazuri. Thank you very much for gracing this occasion. May God bless you. Ninataka kusema mambo mawili halafu ni keti. The first one is to the family. God knows and nothing passes God. Wait upon the Lord. He is faithful. Hata wabeba kwa mikono yake. Hata wakati kuna majeraha katika roho na katika mioyo. Yeye ni mwaminifu mtumainie yeye. Ya inweni macho yenu na mtazame kwa sababu yeye ni mwaminifu. Jambo la pili ambalo ningependa kusema ni kwa sababu ya sisi zote. Sisi wote ni wasafiri hapa duniani. Na kama vile dada wetu alivyosema mgeni akikutembelea siku moja anaondoka. Si ni kweli. Sisi wote ni wageni na kuna mahali ambapo tunakwenda. Tuna nafasi ya kujiandaa na kujitayarisha mahali ambapo tunakwenda ili ya kwamba tusipatikane ghafla kama hatujajiandaa ni vyema sana kila mmoja wetu ayachunge maisha yake alinde sana moyo wake kuliko vyote alindavyo ni vizuri kulinda mme ni vizuri kulinda mke na watoto lakini zaidi ya yote linda moyo wako katika jina la Yesu nataka tusimame tulikaribishe neno la Mungu katika jina la Yesu Baba Mungu tukushukuru tusema ni asante kwa sababu ya wema wako Fadhili zako ni za milele. Umetuleta katika uwanja huu ukiwa na kusudi na maisha yetu. Zaidi ya kumsindikisha shujaa huyu ambaye ni mtoto wetu una haja na mioyo yetu. Na kwa sababu hiyo umeleta kila mmoja wetu katika makutano haya ili ya kwamba uweze kunena nasi. Tunaomba ya kwamba mtumishi wako unaposimama ya kwamba Jehovah utampa neno kwa sababu ya kila mmoja wetu katika jina la Yesu Kristu. Neno lako Jehovah Libadilishe maisha yetu, libadilishe ufahamu wetu, libadilishe mawazo yetu katika jina la Yesu. Ninaomba amani, amani ya Mungu ikatanda katika mahali hapa katika jina la Yesu, hata mahali ambapo pamesalia tunaomba neema ya amani katika jina la Yesu Kristu. Ninaomba ya kwamba ukamficha mtumishi wako nyuma ya msalaba, mwanadamu awaye asionekane ila Kristo wa Nazareti, na ni katika jina la Baba na Mwana Roho Mtakatifu tunaomba na kuamini kwa pamoja napenda tusimame tuweke mikono yetu pamoja tunapomkaribisha mtumishi wa Mungu Reverend Samuel Madhu makofi mazuri Hallelujah Amen tunaweza keti bwana awabarikieni sana ninaomba nisimame hapa mtu wa media maana mimi ni mzee Bwana Yesu na asifiwe basi ningeomba tuweze kusalimiana hewani Bwana Yesu na atukuzwe. Si unisalamie tu. Funga mkono wako vizuri. Pande hii simulisalamie. Hata wanafunzi si unisalamie tu. 
pande hii munisalamie basi hii ya ya ya, 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 ya wakubwa si munisalamie na hata wale walioko kule mbali na si munisalamie bwana yesu na asifiwe sana basi langu jina ni kasisi sami mathu na nimeokoka yesu ni bwana na shukuru mungu sana ni kwa sababu ya nafasi hii ambeweza kutu tunukia kila mmoja wetu kuweza kukuja katika sherehe hii ambayo ni sherehe ya mwisho ya dada wetu Esther tulie mpenda na tulie mwenzi mimi personally nilimpenda sana maana alikuwa ni kijana kwetu kanisani na pamoja na familia yao tulitangamana kwa karibu sana na kwa hivyo siku ya leo mimi binafsi pia ninaombole nina niko na huzuni lakini hata hivyo nalishukuriwe jina la Bwana anaye tutia moyo na anaye fariji nafsi zetu maana jamii hii imepata faraja za Bwana na marafiki na wale pia walikuwa wanasoma pamoja na yeye na wale ambao walitangamana in one way or the other hata na wao Bwana akawapatie faraja Ninaelewa ya kwamba kuna wengi wanao tutazama katika mitandao hiyo na tunawakaribisheni na nitatumia dakika chache sana na ninaamini ya kwamba tutabarikiwa na Bwana wale ambao wananijua wanajua ya kwamba mimi si pasta wa masaa mengi mimi ni mchungaji wa dakika chache kabisa na watu wanakuwa wamebarikiwa tingiza mwenzako mwambie fadhita anatumia dakika chache mwambie dakika chache <laughs> na wengine yani wamengadhia yani ni mimi nimeleta njaa kweli na, na sitingize mwanzako mwambie fadhita anatumia dakika chache naomba naomba nyaa ni wetu mretu hata fadhita anasikia njaa kama wewe kwa hivyo usinikaushie hapa tingiza mwanzako mwambie hata fadhita anasikia njaa ndiri kidu numite ama umeona kuna kitu fadhita ameletea pale hakuna bwana yesu atukuzwe sana so Uh, uh, much have been said and done bergen lazima tulisikie neno la bwana maana neno la mungu linasema hivi ya kwamba bingu nazo nchi zitapita lakini neno lake mwenyezi mungu litasimama na pia maandiko inasema hivi mwanadamu hataishi kwa mkate tu bali kwa kila neno linalotoka kinywani chake mwenyezi mungu mwanadamu ataishi Ninataka nisome neno la Mungu katika kitabu cha Yohana mtakatifu mlango wake ni watatu tangia mstari wa kwanza ukipenda unaweza soma hadi mstari wa ishina moja. but again mimi sitasoma hivyo i mean uh, those verses again nitasoma tu vifungu vichache na vyote vitakuwa ni vya baraka sana si watu huko mnanisikia Okay. Kizungu inasema hivi Biblia ambao ni neno la Bwana. Now there was a Pharisee a man named Nicodemus who was a member of the Jew ruling council. That is Sana San Hadred. He came to Jesus at night and said, Rabbi, Amaraboni Amarabi we know that you are a teacher who has come from God for no one could perform these signs that you are doing if God was not with you Jesus replied and said verily i say unto thee no one can see the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God unless they are born again huo mstari wa tatu ni mtamu sana na nitausisitiza kwa kurudia tena Jesus replied and said verily i say unto thee no one can see the kingdom of god or rather the kingdom of god unless they are born again how can someone be born when they are old nicodemus asked surely they cannot enter a second time into the your mother's womb and be born Jesus answered verily i say unto you no one can enter the kingdom of god unless they are born of the water and the spirit 
flesh give birth to flesh, but the spirit give birth to spirit. You should not be surprised at my saying, at my saying that you must be born again. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes uh, 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 and where it goes. So it is with anyone who born of the spirit. Ni mistari nyingi, lakini natamani ya kwamba nitumie mistari hiyo. Ambayo ni mesoma, nililete neno la buwana kwa dakika chache sana. La kutufariji sisi ambaye tumekuja, kutufariji katika maisha haya, na hata katika maisha ya badai. Maana kama vile ambavyo walivyo nitangulia, hapo awali wamesema, ya kwamba maisha haya, hata ukipatiwa wishi miaka mingi, maisha haya birashaka yako na kikomo, ambao tunaita full stop. Na baada ya kikomo ikiwekwa, basi utaweza kuenenda katika ulimwengu mingine. Moja kasema hivi, ya kwamba to be absent in the flesh, it means that you are present somewhere else. Na kwa hivyo sasa ni vizuri tukaweza kuelewa. Sisi siku ya leo ambaye tuko hapa, tuko hai. Na tuko hai kwa sababu ya sababu ya mungu ya ya mwenyewe. And therefore baada ya kujua tu hai, kwa sababu ya sababu ya mungu na kusudi lake, basi tunastahili kuishi na kukaa maisha ya nayo mpendeza mungu wetu. Bwana yesu na asifiwe. Na sasa ujumbe wa dakika chache ni huu ya kwamba ni lazima uzaliwe mara ya pili kama unataka kuona ufalme wa mbinguni. Nataka utingize mwenzako, muambie ni lazima uzaliwe mara ya pili. Ninaomba msiniache. Na, na ninaomba ya kwamba mkae wawili wawili maana eh, akikoro fadhi tadara shogera. Ona wetu akili ni kusoka. Nasema kama pasta hadhari hapa hata wewe haustahili kulala. Kwa hivyo tingiza mwenzako muambie ni lazima. Wengine hawasemi hapa. Nasema ni lazima. Tingiza muambie ni lazima. Mtingiza vizuri muambie ni lazima. Usaliwe mara ya pili. Kama unataka kuingia binguni. Bas, wangapi wanataka kuingia binguni hapa? Kipande hii peke yake, kipande hii peke yake. Kipande hii wangapi wanataka kuingia binguni? Ndoga mwana huyo kwanza mtu gatri. Pande. Wale wanataka kuingia binguni pande hii. Pande hii wanataka kuingia binguni. Wengine hawataki. Ngambo ile wale wanataka kuingia binguni mkono juu. Mkono juu wanaotaka kuingia binguni pande ile. Hapa kwa wachungaji na wengine, wangapi wanataka kuingia binguni? Formula ni moja. Hello, formula ni mo? Maana sasa huko hakuna gari. Kama kungerikuwa ni gari, sote tungeenda. Tungetumia gari mzito na munono. Siri ambazo tukonazo. Naona mahari ya mzito mzito hapa. Naona mbaka ma pro box. Mzito mzito hapa. Eh? Naona pia moto bike hapa. Kwa hivyo kupitia means ambazo tukonazo, jameni tungekimbia na tuende binguni. Lakini ni vizuri tuweze kuelewa hii mafuto ya ruto imekimbia juu sana. Kwa hivyo kiwa imepanda juu kupitia magari ama mapikipiki unaweza remerero. <laughs> Maana mafuto yanaweza katikia njia. Lakini na jina la Bwana litukuzwe. Maana njia moja ya kwenda kwa Baba ni lazima usaliwe mara ya Halo, ni lazima usaliwe mara ya ngapi? Unajua injiri hii watu hawapendi. Na injiri hii ni injiri ambayo sisi imetukomboa na imetutoa mahali ambapo tulikuweko. Natamani vizuri kuelewa hata kuokoka si kuboeka na kuokoka si ujinga. Yaani Fadhita ambaye ameokoka anangaraga hivyo. Yaani 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 waimbaji ambao wameokoka wanangaraga hivyo. Yaani wase ambao wameokoka wanaruka rukaga hapa hata wakiwa wamesongwa na miaka maana wanajua si mwanadamu wanarukia lakini ni Jehova wanarukia hebu tingiza mwenzako mwambie ukiona tunaimba imba muone tumempata Yesu hatuimbi sarakasi hapa lakini ndani ya mioyo yetu tumepata Bwana wa mabwana ukiona ninaimba imba moyoni nimepata Yes. 
Hello? Hello? Ukiona vijana wanakatalia kanisani. Ukiona wazee wanakatalia kanisani. Hata wamama. Wengine wamesema hapa ni wajane. Wamejisema wao wenyewe. Wamesema wao ni wajane. Lakini wamekuamiria kwa Yesu. Kweli, sili kumaanisha kwa Yesu kuna raha. Jameni kwa Yesu kuna raha. Wajane wakikuta kwa Yesu, Jehova ananyorosha familia katika china la Yesu. Lakini hii habari ya wajane kukaa peke yao, yani kukaa, yani kukaa, yani kile ki, ile ambayo haileti sangwe, tunakataa katika china la Yesu. Atanekole kata ya ukae kango zangu za tuko, na kuwa na toetoro. Lazima usariwe mara ya pili. Nasema ni lazima musariwe mara ya Uria tumia makira. <laughs> yeah? Oni ko igira. Uwana ko desu oni kiugo. <laughs> Jameni ni lazima tuzariwe mara ya ngapi. Kulikuwa na mutu kwa jina Nicodemus. Na wasomi wa Biblia, wale ambao wako hapa wanajua, ya kwamba Nicodemus, was among the richest people in Jerusalem. Wale ambao wako hapa wanajua hivyo. Nicodemus alikuwa ni tajiri. Na si hivyo tu, lakini alikuwa kwa a member of a certain group ilijulikana, ilijulikana kwa kizungu kama Sanhedrin. Hiyo group hiyo ilikuwa ya watu wa somi, watu ambao wako na akili kama ile ambayo tuko nayo. Mtingiza mwanzako muulize na <laughs> mwambie, okay. Hata tu wate hiyo isilete wasiwasi. Yaani Nicodemus alikuwa na nini? Hello, alikuwa na nini? Lakini huyu jamaa akiwa pia mkuu wa sheria, maandiko yananifurahisha sana. Inasema ya kwamba akatafuta nafasi mtana ikashindikana. Kwa sababu ya level yake, kwa sababu ya kwa sababu ya jina lake na hadhi yake. Lakini hata hivyo kwa sababu ya swali na mas, na, ma, na majibu ambayo alitamani kuyapata kwa Yesu alimwendea Yesu usiku na alipomwendea usiku of course wakaanza kusemezana mambo kadha wa kadha lakini Yesu maana alijua kile ambacho Nicodemus hana na anakihitaji alimwambia ya kwamba nakuambia kweli Nicodema ni lazima mtu asaliwe mara ya pili kama anataka kuingia uzimani Na injiri ni hiyo, sio ingine. Ya kwamba kuimba vizuri kanisani, haikuingizi pinguni. Hujie kana atige. Nasema kuimba vizuri kanisani. Hata kukuta na uniform kanisani, haikufanyi uede pinguni. Hata mimi kufaa kola, hainisaidi ni ede pinguni. Lakini ila itanisaidia, ni ingie pinguni. Ni lazima nisariwe. Mara ya pili nimekuja niwatangazie ya kwamba haijarishi dini unayosoma haijarishi sadaka unazotoa lakini injiri ni hii ni lazima usariwe mara ya Hello Ati lazima usariwe mara ya ngapi Hata ikiwa wewe unatoa sadaka ile mnono kanisani Ni lazima ujue. E, lazima uzaribe mara ya pili. Sadaka yako kwanza tutaipokea sisi wachungaji. Na tunaomba wabarikiwe kabisa. Hili warete hile mnono mnono. Mana kabisa kutikiona besa. Sioka tuge sithia hapa ana. Tunakaribisha yote. Tunaidedicate kwa Jehova. <laughs> Lakini hata hivyo. Buwana ako na haja na nafsi yako. Bwana ako na haja na moyo wako. And that's why ametengeza njia. Na maandiko inasema hivi John 3:16. Kwa maana jinsi hii Mungu aliupenda ulimwengu hata akamtoa mwana wake wa pekee ili yeyote amwaminie asipotee bali awe na usima wa milele. Jamani kimureka hata ndori wa dodhi ni nyuma rarora. ndika hie oh sasawa <laughs> wapendwa yohana 3:16 kwa 
kwa maana jinsi hii Mungu aliupenda ulimwengu ili yeyote amuaminie asipotee bali awe na usima wa milele Bwana alipokuumba wewe na akaniumba mimi alikusudia sisi wote tuingie uzimani lakini kwa sababu ya katiri ya mwanadamu Bwana akatoa msaada na msaada aliyotoa ni wa Kristo Yesu na siku ya leo ni vizuri muelewe ya kwamba Mkristo anahitaji dawa na dawa anayohitaji dawa ni Yesu Nasema dawa ni Yesu Butingiza mwanzo kwa mwambie dawa ni Yesu Mwambie dawa ni Yesu Bwana Hakuna dawa nyingine mimi ninajua Tumetoa katika dini zingine ambazo zinatuambia wewe kula kalikali vile unakula hakuna shida ukikufa kama sasa saa hii tutakuja tukuombee wewe utolewe mahali ambapo ulienda huko Jahanamu utasongezwa songezwa 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 alafu tunapoendelea kukuombea kila mwaka kila mwaka tutatolewa hapo uende mbinguni kwa hiyo tuto sio Hai kimo madini ile kwenye Hakuna kitu kama hiyo. Wakati wako wa kutengeneza maisha si ukiwa hapa saa hii. Wakati wewe uko hai ni wakati wako mzuri wa kuweza kurekebisha maisha yako mahali ambapo ungetaka kwenda. Na kwa hiyo wapendwa, injili yangu ni fupi sana siku ya leo. Injili yangu ni fupi sana. Maana ni injili ambayo ni self explanatory ya kwamba ni lazima uzaliwe mara ya pili kama unataka kuingia uzimani lazima uzaliwe mara ya pili kwa hivyo wapendwa hata wanafunzi ambao wako hapa si tulipokea shule tulipokea Kristo tukiwa shule bado tukiwa wachanga sana na Bwana ametusimamisha kwa hivyo sisi zote ambaye tuko hapa hakuna hata mtu mmoja anastahili kupotea lakini muamini tu Kristo wewe maandiko yanasema kitabu cha Warumi kumi mstari wa tisa kuokoka ni kufanya nini ni kukiri ni kukiri kwa kinywa na kuamini kwa moyo ya kwamba Yesu, Yesu ni Bwana unaokoka sikia hii hata ile ambayo tunaitaga sina prayer haiwezi kukuokoa uende mbinguni eh eh sina prayer ile ambayo tunarisaitiki rudia nyuma yangu bwana yesu bwana yesu naja mbele zako naja mbele zako unajua wengine wakati ambapo hawawezi kufanya anything ndio wanaitaga pasta wanasema pasta ako wapi akuji aniombe na wakati kama ule unamuliza ni okori ya eh ni okonywa eh yani hakuna kitu ambao anasema hapana saa hizi wakati uko na nguvu na si ukuja kwa Yesu sisi ambaye tuko kwa Yesu si kupagawa tumepagawa in fact ni kutanuka tumetanuka ai eh yani sisi ambaye tuko kwa Yesu jamani ni kutanuka tumechanuka nasikia hii maana ninajua tuko pia na vijana wengi na mimi nimekuwa kwa msemaji wa vijana. Maana pia mimi ni kijana. Wazazi ambaye tuko hapa, wateni tuweze kuangalia na kulea watoto wetu katika njia ipasavyo. Kama vile ambavyo maandiko inasema, tufundishe watoto wetu katika njia ipasavyo. Yaani ya kwamba hata katika uzee wao hatawacha hiyo njia, lakini wao watafuatilia hiyo njia. Maana nyakati ambazo tuko ni za hatari tusipofundisha watoto wetu wanafundishwa katika social media tiki toko hii 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 tiktok hii imearibu wengi sana hii vijana wengi saa sita usiku ikifika mambo ambayo inafanywa hapa katika tiktok hii ni mambo ya kuhuzunisha sana na wazazi ambao tuko hapa na walimu pia na wachungaji if we are not going to play our role rightfully then we are losing a generation may god forbid we are losing a generation maana wazazi sisi kile ambacho tunafanya yani kitu ya heshima sana ni kuwekea mtoto wako wifi unafikiri uko mbele sana 
si mbaya ni vile natumiwa viba maana hata saa hizi kurusha hii mahubiri hewani inatumia wifi na mabando mingi madata bando lakini pia ni vizuri wapendwa wewe kama mzazi ka na watoto wako saa hizi shule zimefungwa do you spend the time with your children huh? do you spend the time with your son with your daughter kuyad kuyad behavior it should raise an alarm ukiona tu tutabia tumebadilika badilika hivi wapendwa hakuna njia nyingine na hata vijana ambao wako hapa wajue hakuna njia nyingine njia ni kuzaliwa mara ya pili bandi haitakusaidia kunyonga usiku haitakusaidia dawa ni Yesu Halo Hakuna lakini siku ya leo kuna jibu na jibu ambayo iko ni Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu akiingia ndani yako atabadilisha maisha Nene hujagi na dieti kagira Lazima tujue na tuelewe Tukiacha social media ifunze watoto wetu tumepotea na hatuna kizazi that's why tunaona baba anafanya kazi kwa bidii natia fora katika biashara zake alafu yeye mwenyewe anaacha madhi pengine amegawa kwa vijana kwa wasiana wake hata kabla shingo haijakatika mali yote imeuzwa mehurutwa kila mahali maana mtu hata hakufundishwa responsibilities akufundishwa vile ambavyo anastahili kulinda mali na utajiri ye yeah, nipe 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 napewa shika napewa shika lakini Mwana atusaidie na tuelewe ya kwamba kuingia uzimani njia ni moja ni lazima watu wakubali kuzaliwa mara ya pili vijana wazaliwe mara ya pili wazee wazaliwe mara ya pili walioko shuleni wazaliwe mara ya pili maana hiyo ndiyo njia Jesus is the way the truth and the life hakuna njia nyingine tuko nayo ya kutupeleka kwa baba njia ni Yesu kwa hivyo wapendwa si mimi ninawaombea neema ya Bwana si ninawaombea nguvu za Bwana ya kwamba wewe utajihoji ndani ya moyo wako na utasema ya kwamba kabisa ninatamani kuzaliwa mara ya pili. In fact at such a time like this the greatest honor that we can give our dear sister Esther it is only to receive Christ in your heart. That is the greatest honor. Nigenda hali yeye ako na wewe ukuepo. Saa hizi sijui lakini niseme hivi ya kwamba state ya esta sasa haiwezi badilika haiwezi badilika sasa vile ambavyo wako hivyo ndivyo atakavyoamka vile ambavyo mwanadamu hulala hivyo ndivyo anavyoamka lakini tuko na nafasi ya kubadilisha maisha yetu leo tuko na nafasi ya kurekebisha maisha yetu leo tuko na nafasi ya kutengeneza destiny ya maisha yetu Leo sio kesho saa hizi I am praying for each one of you that the grace of God will be sufficient upon your life na nyinyi wote mtamkubali Kristo Yesu katika jina la Yesu Nataka kwa dakika moja uombe nafsi yako Mwambie Bwana ninakutamani wewe Wanaeleshe katika jina la Kristo Yesu Mwana wa Mungu Bwana Mungu wetu ni wema na Mungu wetu ni mwaminifu. Yeye anafanya mambo ya ajabu na anafanya mambo yanayoshangaza wengi katika jina la Yesu. Wimliwe na uhimidiwe Mungu na baba yetu. Wewe ambaye ni Bwana wa mabwana. Na falme wa wafalme. Neno lako tumelisikia siku ya leo. Ya kwamba Bwana ni lazima tusaliwe mara ya pili. Nikodemus Bwana alitaka kujua na ulimpatia jibu ya kwamba yeyote ambaye atamtamani kuingia mbinguni lazima azaliwe mara ya pili. Tusaidie Bwana na utuneemeshe. 
Neema yako iwe nyingi tu ya maisha kila mmoja wetu. Katika jina la Kristo Yesu. Roho wako Bwana atakue juu ya kila mmoja wetu. Na ili uamuzi tunaofanya katika maisha yetu Bwana iwe ni uamuzi wa busara ya kwamba hatutapotea katika kupotea kwa milele lakini badala yake tutaishi na wewe milele yote. Asante Bwana na Mungu wetu katika jina la Yesu. Pengine kuna mtu miongoni mwetu ambaye angetaka kuokoka. Anyoshe mkono wake juu. Nitaomba pamoja na wewe katika jina la Yesu. Are you in our kuokoka? Oh kuna mkono mmoja pale. Yes, kuna mkono shangilia Bwana kwa makofi. Je, kuna mwingine ambaye angetaka kuokoka? Weka mkono wako juu. Aongoze tu akuje hapa. Na ninafurahi sana huyu ameokoka akiwa shule. Tuliokoka tukiwa shule katika jina la Yesu. Si mwingine ambaye ni kama yeye. Anasema anataka kuokoka na si akuje. In fact this one will be so memorable. Maana utasema ya kwamba niliokoka wakati ambapo tulikuwa tumeenda kusindikiza mmoja wetu katika jina la Yesu. You in our midst. Why don't you join her? Today is the day of salvation. See your case, but today is the day of salvation. Are you in our midst? Now get up, walk up, carry beer, hop up. Mlango ni wazi. Mlango me funguliwa. Nanchia iko wazi. Chia ni Yesu mwenyewe katika jina la Yesu. Are you in our midst? Now get up, walk up. Uko miongoni mwetu na get up, walk up. Bas, kigoge kige tiu makie niwe, tiu makie lewe. Na kwa sababu buwana hatu mineno lake bure, anatuma akiwa na kusudi katika jina la Yesu. Si wachungaji ambaye muko hapa mkuja, tuweze kumuombe katika jina la Christo Yesu. Regional Bishop Steve ata muombe katika umu hile wa kuja. Fursa iliyo kubwa ni kuungana na Mungu ukiwa dunia hii. Kuungana naye ili utimize kile alisababisha uzaliwe kukitenda. Na huyu binti ujue ya kwamba wanaozungumza nawe waliokoka kwanza niliokoka nilikuwa form 1. Sijui uko form form 4. Huyu aliyokokea form 4. Uliokokea gani? Form 1. Nani mwingine aliyokokea shule? Class 8. Sasa watu wa Mungu, hii wokovu si ya wa form 4 na si ya form 1s. Ni wokovu wa Bwana Yesu Kristo. Heshima kubwa ni kumpokea Yesu, maana hata tukilala kama Esther, ni Yesu tutakuta malango yale ambayo tumekuwa na funguo zake. Na Mungu awabariki. Unaitwaje? Tracy. Tracy. Tracy, unajua unatamka ki form 4 sasa tunashindwa matamshi yako namna gani lakini tunaelewa Bwana Yesu na kushukuru. maana wewe ni Mungu umeokoa nafsi moja na malaika binguni wanashangilia wanafurahia ya kwamba kuna mmoja ametoka mikononi mwa mharibifu na sasa ameingia uzimani ametoka gizani ameingia nuruni ametoka kifoni akaingia uzimani ametoka kwa uharibifu sasa atatumika kama mtumishi wako hata akienda wapi neno hili litamfuata wewe ni Mungu unayeokoa na wewe ndiye Mungu unayesababisha kuishi nambariki Tracy natangaza wokovu ule ambao umepokea hapa hadharani si wokovu ambao atarudi nyuma ni wokovu wa uamuzi wa busara tunambariki akiwa form 4 tutamuona akiwa university tutamuona akiwa kazini tutamuona akiwa kwa ndoa tutamuona akiwa mtu mkuu kwa sababu we ni Mungu sema bwana Yesu bwana Yesu niko mbele zako niko mbele zako na kushukuru na kushukuru kwa kuniokoa kwa kuniokoa na kunionyesha kwa damu ya Yesu kwa damu ya Yesu amen amen umeokoka hakuna jambo lingine fuata Yesu na mfuate kabisa Miaka hii yote tumekaa tukiwa ma form 1 na sasa sisi tumegonga over 40 katika wokovu bado Yesu ni bwana Mungu akubariki Tracy God bless you God bless you Situmshangilie kwa makofi mazuri Amen
What a good decision ambayo amefanya. Ninaona walimu wanamkumbatia ni jambo la busara na latutia moyo sana. Amen. Ningetaka ya kwamba tuweze kuketi na ningetamani kuombea familia. Maana tutaombea familia tutafanya mambo mawili. Jambo la kwanza ni kuombea familia na jambo hilo lingine tutaombea hawa wanafunzi ambao walikuwa wanasoma na esta. Maana sasa wanafanya mtihani wao tangia siku ya kesho na kwa sababu ya kuondokewa na mmoja wao wanaweza kuwa na mawazo mazito na pengine ikaleta hitilafu katika masomo hayo ama katika mtihani huo lakini tunataka kuwaombea mawazo yao ya kwamba Bwana atailinda na hili darasa sijui ilikuwa ni form gani south watafanya vizuri katika jina la Yesu ah wangapi wanasema hawa watafanya vizuri wangapi wanasema hawa watapita with the flying colors Yaani hizo form four zingine sijui kama ni west ama ni east lakini hii south hii hii hi, itapita kuliko hao wengine katika jina la Yesu na huzuni na huzuni na hofu ya esta haitawakamata nyinyi katika hicho kipindi chote cha mitihani na hata baadaye nyinyi Bwana atawalinda maana ni mwaminifu katika jina la Yesu lakini kabla sijafanya hivyo nimpishe kiongozi alikuwa anaongoza ambaye ni elder Steve aweze kutuelekeza tu rafikisha baadaye itaweza kuchukua usukani tunapokaribia kutamatisha tumtongee makofi yanapokuja kwa dakika kumi tu kabla ya kuenda makaburini ni kwamba hiyo mtoto wetu amekaa kwa hospitali kwa muda labda zaidi ya mwezi mmoja na kweli ni kwamba mama hajakuwa kazini familia haijakuwa kazini na ni vizuri ya kwamba tusumame na hawa kwa siku hata moja tuwapatie sapa ya siku moja na, na ranch ya siku moja baadaye wakati watakuwa wamerudi katika hali ya kawaida waweze kujiendesha ni vizuri hata kama ulitoa pesa zako kwenye kwa sababu ya hii mazishi hakikisha kwamba siku ya leo umetoa kitu ningetaka dada zetu wakuja hapa hakikisha kwamba umetoa kitu unajua umetoa elfu zako kumi, ishirini, mia tano, ishirini, lakini tufanye jambo tusimame tafadhali Tusamae fadhali tafadhali na Gaburi kuja hapa tafadhali na wengine wasimame hapa Dio na wengine hapa tuwe na wengine hapa Tusamae tusamae tafadhali ya kwamba hakikisha ya kwamba umefanya jambo. Tunataka wengine watu wengine hapa na kitambaa tafadhali. Wengine wengine wajitolee hapa, wengine wajitolee hapa. Wakae wako wapi? Wakae kuja. Nilikuwa nataka wao wakae utatokaza kwa nyuma. Tusimame tafadhali. Sumama na mwenzako naye Mungu atakutumania ikifika wakati huo. Sidio Sumama sasa nikisema sumama sikutini bora kuliko dhabihu mimi ndio Musa wa leo mimi ndio Musa usiponitii hautii Mungu namba ya simu Mpesa kwa sababu ya digital 0724824661 Sufuri saba, bidi, it, nane, bidi, ine, sita, sita, moja. 07 24661 Ndogo mroga mata fadhali Ndogo mroga mata yetu yetu Wote yetu Sumama tafadhali sumameni pande hii tafadhali watoto wa shule sumameni Ndio ile ulipokisha ya mandasi uleta hapa Ya mandasi hata kama ni kobore uleta hapa sio Ndio tuongoze 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 Chako tumaini sina ilada yake Yesu sina wema wa kutosha dhambi zangu kuziosha kwake Yesu na Oh uh-huh. 
na wewe wina ngirimo huko na waigwa ndo kuroga mwana family yo ko na gutira ngai agutwire Number simu 07 24824661 Esther wairimo ana zak Esther Kerie itatoka Esther Kerie eh ni togo Mungu baba na bariki sadaka katika Kristo Yesu bwana mokosi nimeomba Yo mchungaji karibu Asante sana si tumtongee makofi Amen Kwa haraka sana tutatumia dakika chini ya dakika 20 tutakuwa tumemaliza ibada hii ya maziko Nataka nikaribisha wachungaji hapa wakuje kwa haraka sana wachungaji tafadhali njooni Reverend Peter Washiori nataka uweze tukiwa hapa na pia jamii waanze kukuja sasa as the family are coming we tukiwa na wachungaji tuko mahali hapa tunaelekeza mikono yetu kwa wanafunzi hawa ninapomkaribisha kasisi Washiori aweze kuombea hawa wanafunzi tuombeni Baba Mwenyezi Mungu ni asanti hata dhuhuri ya leo ni kwa sababu wewe ndiye mwokozi ambaye tunayetazamia na wewe ndiye Bwana ambaye tunayamini katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Ni kweli umbali huu umetuleta ni mkono wako ambao umekuwa pamoja nasi. Na siku ya leo tunawatenga hao wanafusi mikononi mwako Mungu wetu wa mbinguni ili ya kwamba Bwana uwahifadhi na hata uwaongoze na hata uwalinde na hata uwaangazie na wema wako Mungu wetu wa mbinguni katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Hata sasa Bwana tunajua ya kwamba wamempoteza one of the of them and we are crying unto you Jehovah God uh, that you shall stand with them even as they start the exam tomorrow in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we declare and decree that their minds shall be clear and shall be sober and they will be able to tackle their exams uh, properly in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, tunakataana na roho yote ambaye inaweza kuwavuta na hata kuwaelekeza kuwa, kuwa kwa mawazo ambayo Bwana sio mazuri katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Tunanena damu ya Yesu juu ya mioyo yao na hata mawazo yao na ndipo Mungu wetu wa mbinguni hata wanapokalia huo mtihani waweze kupokea hekima inayotoka mbinguni katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Tunatenganisha mioyo yao na kila ajambo lolote ambalo linaweza kusababisha uoga katika rohoni mwao na kisha Bwana watie ujasiri wa kuweza kufanya mtihani ule katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Hata maisha yao ya baadaye Bwana tunaweka mikononi mwako Mungu ili uzidi kuendelea kuwahifadhi na hata kuwalinda na kuwaongoza katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Ni wewe Bwana uliyejua wakati kama huu wataweza kuachwa na mmoja wao Esa, lakini Bwana ulijua masaa haya na hata muda huu na tunakuomba ya kwamba Bwana utawaweza kuwastahimilisha ili waweze kufanya na hata waweze kupita katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwokozi tunaomba na kuamini. Amen. 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 Wachungaji hatutaketi wazee wa kanisa na wao pia wakuje na familia sasa njooni. Njooni familia, familia, familia njooni. Brothers and sisters, uncles, cousins, tuliwaona hapa mlipokuwa mnakuja kuombewa. Wakuje hapa sasa tunapotaka kuwaombea. siku ya kwanza ya mtu kuondoka tunakuaga na uzito mkubwa sana na pia siku ya mwisho wakati wanaenda kumlaza mmoja wao pia inakuwa na uzito lakini hata hivyo kama familia ni vizuri muweze kuelewa ingieni ndani jongeni tu karibu jongeni karibu na family no you manene wajonge tu karibu hii ni muhimu sana na sisi wachungaji na wazee wa kanisa tutaweza kufanya mviringo nyuma yao mviringo nyuma yao ni muhimu sana hii maana sasa ombi ambalo tunafanya 
juu ya maisha ya hawa niombi ya kwamba Bwana ataweza kuwalinda na kuwahifadhi na kuwapatia faraja ya ajabu inayopita fahamu na mwanadamu na pia jambo la pili kuna wengi baada ya kumlaza mmoja wao wanakuwa na ndoto mbaya lakini vizuri muweze kuelewa ya kwamba neno la Mungu ni dhahiri ya kwamba kwena mukuru munene kuko na bonde kubwa sana kati ya watu ambao wako hai na watu ambao wamekufa na mara kwa mara wakati mnatembelewa na roho kama zile na ndoto kama zile azikuagi yule mtu inakuwa ni mfano wa na kwa hivyo hizo ndio tunataka tupigane nazo na tukataane nazo ya kwamba nyenye mtalama mtalala vizuri katika vitanda vyenu na Bwana atawapatia usingizi mzuri katika vitanda vyenu maana pia ni neno la Bwana linasema hivyo katika jina la Yesu basi wachungaji tuwaelekeze mikono yetu sasa tunapowaombea Baba Mungu muumba wa vyote vilivyomo vinavyoonekana na visivyoonekana tuko mbele zako mchana huwa leo tunasema ni asante maana umekuwa mwema tumenesema ni asante maana umekuwa mfariji wa ajabu katika familia hii siku ya leo bwana ni siku ya mwisho ya ibada ya moja wetu esta familia wako hapa bwana ninaomba katika jina la Yesu utaweza bwana kupanguza machozi yao utaweza bwana kuondoa kila huzuni katika mili yao katika roho zao katika mioyo yao katika jina la Yesu na bwana wa mabwana kama vile uishivyo milele tunakataana na kila roho wa kifo katika jamii hii katika jina la Yesu tunawaombea ujasiri tunawaombea neema ya kuendelea Jehova katika jina la Yesu na ninaomba ya kwamba bwana utaweza utaweza kuwasaidia wakaweza kukubali ya kwamba esta ameondoka lakini maisha yao bado ingali naendelea ukawaimarisha bwana uimarisha nafsi zao uimarisha mili yao katika jina la Yesu wao heana gavayo etekera koma hevayo wao magereria etekera koma mereria thine ware twaria Yesu tunatamka baraka juu ya maisha yao katika jina la Yesu na tunapoondoka na kwenda makaburini Mungu wangu na baba yangu kila roho ya huzuni tunaiteka nyara sasa tunateka kila roho ya huzuni na tunaachilia neema yako maana Paulo ananenea kanisa la Thessalonike na nawaambia kwamba sisi hatuhuzuniki kama watu ambao hawana tumaini lakini tunahuzunika kama watu ambao wako na tumaini ya kwamba ya kwa, kwa sababu mmoja akiondoka akiwa katika Kristo Yesu yeye ameenda tu kuonana pamoja na baba hivyo siku ya leo katika jina la Yesu ninaachilia hiyo neema in the name of Jesus bless us and guide us in Jesus name we pray amen amen Ndio kwa heshima tu turudi nyuma nyuma kidogo kwa sababu walimu tulikuwa tumesikizana hatutaona mwili lakini watoto wanasema hatakuona mwili. Sasa tukubalie tuwakubalie ama tuwasukubalie. Mkono juu. Wale wanakubali mkono juu. Wale wanakataa mkono juu. Okay. Wamekubali. Sasa si mimi ni nyinyi mmekubali. Watoto tafadhali kwa dakika tano pekee. Walimu kwanza Ninyi mwakubali si mimi atuonangi ma tuonangi kaburi hapa tuonangi mwili hapa Nikita nyinyi Mimi 
wimbo, 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 wimbo kwa kahe. ya kwamba maisha ya mwanadamu ni mafupi sana. Na maisha hayo ya mwanadamu yakiwa mafupi ni vizuri tuweze kuelewa ya kwamba 
japo wanaweza ishi maisha marefu lakini yako na taabu na yamejaa shida na dhiki na tukiwa mahali hapo kabla jeneza haijateremshwa nataka nimuulize kasisi ataweza kuomba Adafikisha jeneza litateremshwa taratibu taratibu na itakuwa ni vizuri katika jina la Yesu hivyo mchungaji baba yetu mbinguni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tupenda kushukuru siku ya leo kwa sababu ya maisha ambayo ulimpa mtoto wetu Esther tukushukuru kwa sababu ya kila hatua ya maisha umekuwa pamoja naye na tusema ni asante hata siku ya leo tunapomlaza tunajua kwamba hajafa amelala tu kama neno lako linavyosema na wakati parapanda itakapolia atainuka na kuzinduka kutoka usingizi wake. Mm. Tunaomba kwamba tunapoteremsha mwili huu mioyo yetu ikawa na amani tukijoya kwamba tukiishi ndani yako tutakutana pamoja naye katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini. Amen. 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 Tutasaidiwa kuteremsha mwili taratibu. Pole pole wakati waimbaji watakapokuwa natuongoza na nyimbo za ku tuweze kupatiwa mchanga sasa wachungaji na wazee wa kanisa walioko hapa alafu nataka mwanadamu baada ya kuasi mwanadamu hakuwa afe lakini kwa sababu ya mwanadamu kuasi neno hili limeandikwa kwa jasho la, la uso wako wewe utakula chakula chako hata utakaporudi ardhini ambayo katika hiyo ulitwaliwa kwa maana wewe umavumbi wewe na katika hayo mavumbi utarudi ardhini siku ya leo tumekuja kulitimiza neno lake Mwenyezi Mungu ya kwamba mwanaadamu ni mavumbi na katika yale mavumbi hayo yeye ataweza kurudi. Kwa hivyo pamoja wazee wa kanisa na wachungaji turushe kwa pamoja katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Sema ya kwamba yeye ni mavumbi na katika mavumbi hayo yeye ataweza kurudi. Mtakatifu wa Israeli tunakushukuru mara tena ni kwa sababu neno lako tumelitimiza siku ya leo yes. ya kwamba mwanadamu siku zake ni chache mm. na yeye ni mavumbi yes. na katika hayo mavumbi atarudi mm. uhai wake bwana na ukakurudie mm. katika jina la Yesu uinuliwe na uhimidiwe mokozi mm. na ni kwa Kristo Yesu bwana tumeomba na kuamini wachungaji bwana wabariki na wazee wa kanisa Amen. sasa mnaweza ondoka taratibu tu taratibu tu yeye ni wa watu wa heshima tunashukuru kuru sana ni kwa sababu yenu Bwana wabariki. Sasa familia wakaribie hapa na kwanza nataka sister. Na tuende taratibu maana tunapatiana muongozo. 
tunapatiana muongozo kwa sababu sisi tumekuja kwa wingi na Bwana wabariki sana. Ni anegeri ni anegeri yote ili tafadhali. Asaidiwe kurusha, arushe, akisha arusha aondolewe. Asante imetosha, imetosha imetosha. Imetosha. Nancy ni hivyo mama yake sasa anakuja. Taratibu. Brothers and sister magre ukoro maridhuva, antina pla whatever. Na mama ankona mama. Asante imetosha. Warudhu vegi ugeya koro adhime. Asaidiwe. Mama me kuna tata. Cousins wako wapi sasa? Wasaidiwe asante sana tata Monica Regio wairimoga ya kora adhime asante asante ni sana Wakirusha tafadhali wasaidiwe kuondoka Regio mono mama kubarikiwe sana Mama iki ya kauma, kazi na iki ya, kazi ni kukama roka. Kazi ni stafadani ni nafasi yenu. Kazi ni where are you? You are so many. Please come. Immediately after doing that, please give us other space. Kazin, kazin, tu yoni kazin, kazin mungi na kuhapa. Ba, sasa nchi imetosha hiyo, imetosha, imetosha. Kazin, kazin. Aki rusha ondolewe tafadhali. Cousins kama wamemaliza na familia kama imeisha sasa. Naona bado wanakuja. Hauma na shosho. Shosho uri oto inero boro wageka. Mke madhai. Watu wa njoro bado sija waona. Shosho, shosho, oke. Nakonja shosho, shosho, shosho. Jodam changa. Uma mchangi. Ah, shosho. Ah, shosho. Antin, maa, maa. Shosho, niyo neka na shosho. Shosho, niya gi oke. Eh, shosho niwe oyo. Very good. Aro namo i get fio. Ya tayi teri yo tafadari da oke wika. Thank you, shosho. Basa sante kama wameisha wazee wa Kongwe. Na hapa sio ni kama kuna wazee wa Kongwe. Watu ambao miaka sitini kwenda juu wakuje hapa waanze kurusha mchanga. 60 Kama hakuna hiyo miaka 60 basi.
Wala wako na mau watafanya ni kujani apa? Mau wa kujani, 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 kujani. Na msaraba rata, msaraba rata. Msaraba, mtoe na. Kijiko kwa nini? This side. Abai de. Apa? Abai. Haya, mau ya family ya? Family wa kopi? Family wa kokaribu, wala wa kokaribu tafadhali wote tu. Hata kama ni makazi zama nani wakuja washike wale wa family ya. Hata kama ni wawili, family ya kazi zama anybody ya family. Ha? Ndio zama 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 zama. Oh. Ngoja hivi. Okay. Familia haya kanisa. Tukaeni yenyu msalaba. Yeni kanisa kanisa. Tukaeni yenyu. Yote mate yote hapo na mwana wangu. Hapo na familia. Hapo na hapo. Ashikeni hapo. Mwekea hapo. Kama yeye ni wa familia. Kaenda familia mkuja ashike hivi. Nani kila familia yako hapa weka hapo. Hi, my friends, my friends, my friends, my friends. Where is Tawa? She came in there. Huh? Okay. She came up. When I see come, when I 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 come, my friends, where are you? Come on, my way, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Master? Asante sana. Wateni tuombe sasa. Hine tukaweza kupisha wafaji kazi wana wafaji yu kazi mingi. Baba katika jina la Isu Christo, mbele zako tunasongea. Tukisema ni asante ni kwa sababu ya umbali ya mbo umetuleta. Asante ni kwa sababu ya ibada hiyo imerudi nyuma sasa. Okay, ya sifa zote heshima na utukufu. Tunapofumukana Bwana watu kuenda makwao, tutakabidhi mikononi mwako mokozi. Tukiomba ya kwamba utatupatia neema ya safari. Na tutakapofika makwetu salama, jina lako litatukuka. Na ni kwa Kristo Yesu Bwana tumeomba na kuamini. Amen. Bwana wabariki sana na watende mema. Karibuni sana. Haya, kwa 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 mfuate pesto, pale. Oh, I'm back on it.